Since the dawn of time, things have happened. People have talked about those things. First with cave paintings, then with language, writing, and art. In our time, we use the internet. From the depths of nerdom come four guys who talk about things too. World famous internet celebrity, Justin L. The destroyer of BotCon, Deadbugs. The guy that learned how to mow grass in the prison yard, DA. And the customizing powerhouse, Mako Aspire. <laughs> and Tyler F. And every so often, a man who rejects the concept of catch and release, Justin Catfish. This is totally not a Five, four, three, two, one, painter. Hello, everybody. Guten Tag. How are you out in internet lands? This is TKO podcast number 51, coming to you live from the eastern seaboard of the United States and the Midwest. <laughs> With me, as always, are a group of many men. First, let me say good evening to Mr. Bedbugs. How are you? Good evening. I'm doing wonderful. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wunderbar, Klaus. Get the Heimisch Mlilo. Reckon Sie Deutsch? Yeah, we actually got one German listener. It'd be funny to have that shit translated. <laughs> I would like to hear our show translated into fucking German. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, the it beauty of be German is that it always sounds like they're angry when they're saying it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, they could be saying r- rubber baby buggy bumpers. And it would just sound like they wanted to fight you. Mm-hmm. Nice. I want to fight me, too. And, Bedbugs, what did you get this week? I uh, didn't get any Transformers this week, but uh, I did luck out, and I found the newest wave of the uh, NFL McFarlane figures for the Madden 2018. And... Oh, shit. I'm them Dallas Cowboys players, or what? Yeah, so uh, that, <laughs> uh, so Ezekiel Elliott was in the 17 set, so he got a new mold for the 18 set. Uh, oh, you with guys his, do that football thing, hey? Oh. With, with uh, he, he he's kind of got a trademark of being able to hurdle people, so that's what they went with the, for this pose. And uh, Dak Prescott, the quarterback, well, this is this is his well. first uh, <laughs> McFarland figure, so I wanted to really get that one. Uh, and obviously, uh, there, there's no Des Bryant uh, McFarlane this year. <laughs> but, uh, now, now, Bugs, you're, you're obviously a Dallas fan. Uh, Chris, you're uh, obviously you're an Eagles guy. Yep. <clears throat> what about, JL, what, what do you, who do you root for, root, uh, root for in the NFL? Uh, not really anybody. I'd rather watch the Redskins win, though. Okay, well, I have no team, so I guess <laughs> I'm the odd man out then. I like the Iowa football programs because they're trash. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know. So, oh yeah, they're now horrible. I know somebody that might argue with you with that. <laughs> well, he's not here, is he? Hmm. No, yeah. he's not tonight. Nope. All right, gentlemen. As uh, previously ordained, I need to step away, so someone needs to pick it up for a couple minutes. Oh okay. Jesus! Is it the cops again? Yep. <laughs> Woo! Shit! I'll <laughs> take over. Okay, go for it. All right, Bugs, uh, you get anything else? Um, not this week. Uh, I, I do have my pre-order in to get that uh, the Counterpunch Punch uh, from Amazon, but uh, th- that doesn't ship until, I think, like August or September. So. Damn. What is, uh, what is one of them running right now? 24 uh, bucks or something? Yeah, twenty four ninety nine on Amazon. God damn. Is that, you think that's going to be start becoming like an actual standard deluxe price in stores well, or... It's just because it's an exclusive, because Amazon's getting two other ones, too. Uh, So I expect that to be the... uh, It's basically the newer, better fun pub, if you will, in that uh, Amazon will get exclusives and they'll charge a little bit more, which is peanuts compared to what fun pub used to charge. Penis? uh, Right. Well, I think the last actual online exclusive I got was that uh, um, Combiner Wars Breakneck. Slash okay. Wild Rider. 
Yeah, and now they're getting the blast off. <laughs> yeah, and I think I ended up get buying like three or four at once for like fourteen bucks each or some shit. Yeah, and I scalped a couple for like twenty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's all I got this week. And uh, other, oh, and then I invested in the future of my vehicle by putting brakes and rotors on. That was fun. Ballin. Nice. That's a player decision. But other than that, and uh, quite manly of you. I might add. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> JL, how about you? How are you this week, and what did you get? I'm great. Um, I guess starting off, I uh, got some money because I sold my Camaro. I sold my Camaro that's been rotting in my driveway for about ten years. No, <laughs> it's fine, man. It's it fine. sounds like within like ten to twelve hours, the guy that bought it from you already is running it down the street. Oh, yeah, well, he owns a uh, junkyard, so <laughs> he has access to parts. And mm. probably loves cars and knows everything about every car in the world, probably. Yeah, apparently he's a pretty badass mechanic, too, because that shit was running within, like, a couple days. <laughs> you know, and I can actually hear it from my house. My car's loud as fuck, and he's, like, a mile away from me. Now, does it, now that you hear it resurrected, are you kind of second-guessing selling it? No, you because might. I still I still wouldn't have heard it run for a long time, because I had no, like, Ambition, ambition to get it back uh, because I want to finish my house first, and then that's going to take all my money for the next few years. And I'm paying off debt. Like I wasn't going to sink any money in that thing anytime soon. Yeah, but it, it, didn't you say it sounded like a fuel pump and then something else? Yeah, he had, to he, drop, he had to drop. He had to drop and clean the tank and change Ooh, the fuel pump. Whoop de frickin' do. Yeah, well, that's a that's a lot for me when I have nobody to help me with it down here. Oh uh, yeah, I guess if you don't have a buddy helping. Yeah, and I'm sure it needed a few other things, too. That's like, definitely a two-man job, dropping a gas tank, especially if there's any fuel in it. And it's definitely, oh, yeah, there's some rotten-ass fuel in it. And now, that de- obviously had a, um, the, one of the plastic tanks, too, even, right? Um, I don't think so. I, think I it's know a- a Buddy and I dropped the one in my Impala, and it's a 23-gallon tank. Mm. But I ran it empty before I started fucking with the fuel pump. And it, it's a... Uh, PVC or plastic one of some kind. I can't remember, man. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have to uh, change your brakes and shit off on out on that too. Well, if it's been sitting for ten years, there's gonna be a lot of shit. They're gonna do the water pump like in a day or two. Oh yeah, well I mean it, it was if already leaking. It. Yeah, the water pump was fine, but like it was already leaking oil and shit when I when I parked it. So well, it's a, it's an LT1350. It should probably leak i mean it's if it is but, if it doesn't you don't if it's not a chevy yeah well, it was leaking enough they wouldn't let me run at the track anymore and that's one of the reasons why i got parked Ooh, that's bad then well no man all it's gotta do is leak like one drop and they're like nope or if they see it on the underside of your car they'll be like nope um, i don't know I how guess, anything ever runs there i guess the guys at my track night are just like yep don't give a fuck <laughs> you probably don't there's some some tracks are like that as long as they open the hood and doesn't, there's no visible leaks and the battery's strapped down, you're good to go. Yeah, as long as the oil's like not smoking out of the car, <laughs> it lets you run. And, you get anything um, else this week? Yeah, uh, I went ahead and fell farther into the doll life, and I bought a Hot Toys Jedi Luke. Nice. Which what what version of Luke is that? That's the one from the. That's the one from uh, Return of the Jedi, and you have actually... So, Black Cloak Luke? Well, yeah, but he actually comes with three different, like, setups that he had. He has the one with the robe, which covers up everything, which is from, like, the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get, like, him with, like, whatever the hell you call that thing he's wearing on Jabba's barge. And then my favorite, and which is what I'm using, is I just took all that shit off, and now he's got the black cloak with the yeah, little just, white, with the white, you know, collar hanging off. Yeah, just the the black suit or whatever it is. Well, that's what I remember the most from that movie. So now it doesn't have like a cape around the hips, like slightly. Uh, I don't think so. It does Over have the a ass, belt. Maybe he has a belt. Well, yeah, his shirt sure hangs down a little bit. I'm trying he's to got a vision. I'm gonna take her to the Google real quick. Yeah, I sent, I posted pictures, like, in the chat before. Yeah, dude, but, like, I ain't hanging out in there all day like some of you maps. Uh, I know. Some I got shit gotta... to do, like, sleep. Sleep and then mow lawns for an hour <laughs> and then go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta wake up. checks and shit. Yeah, you got, gotta go collect the, uh, the snow 
the snowplow money from the old people that can't get up and look outside. <laughs> it happens, dude. Pay up, Grandpa. It's fucking blizzard out there. I, what month I noticed is it, that you mowed my. I mo- noticed that you mowed my lawn. Damn right. I didn't I th- hear you or see it. Well, I knocked in the door. <laughs> like, uh, I mowed it three times a day. Weren't you here yesterday? No, no, Grandpa. You're just starting to forget shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I don't want to even deal with customers like that. I'll just be like, dude, if that happens, I'll just do an extra charge a month just for the fuck of it. Yeah. Just because that, just because it's a headache to deal with them. But like, no, no, dude. I was here last week. I'm here again this week. You're going to hell for ripping those people off. <laughs> 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 All right, and um, most importantly though, I got gout this week. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, like legitimate gout. Yeah, there's nothing like waking up to searing pain in your knee joint and not being able to bend your leg. That's awesome. Uh, and uh, the good news is, is they gave me medicine that'll fix it, and they told me what I can do to fix it. The bad news is I can't drink it all for a while. Yeah, and that oh, gout medication or whatever. Yeah, they didn't even give me good pills. You know, they gave me the fucking weak-ass grandma pills. Well, That's tell like... them that stuff's not working, and they'll give you some cool stuff. No, because next thing you know, I'll be on heroin. I'm fine. <laughs> that happens, actually. I'm fine. That's what I'm saying. I'm fine. It's fine. T- telling JL not to drink is like t- telling a fish not to swim. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what other liquids you can drink after, like, noon. I had some coffee and a bunch of water. I'm going to pee all this uric acid out. Mm-hmm. Well, too bad you don't have a reefer habit. I don't, I, I'm sure you'd be fine with that. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'd probably get the munchies and eat a bunch of shit that's bad for it. <laughs> what do you do? There's nothing here but salt, so I just start eating salt. <laughs> I don't know why, but the more salt I eat, the more I want to buy a Jeep. So, it, it, JL, if you get baked, how many McNuggets do you think you could eat in one sitting? I, I usually can barely get through ten of those things. And I, <laughs> get and I the love fuck them. out of here, dude. At I love when them. I make chicken nuggets, I make at least 20 for myself right out the gate. Oh, I can't eat them fucking at home ones. I can only eat McDonald nuggets. That's it. What? Throw the rest of them in the trash. <laughs> That's not cool. Yeah, I don't. I don't do them Dino nuggets. <laughs> so, did you get anything this week, Jail? Besides the goat? Just all the other stuff I talked about. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, of course not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure that was it. I can't think of anything. All right. Well, fuck you. Moving that was on. It. Peter. Um, Peter. I had a pretty good week overall. Um, yeah. Uh, JC and I went to uh, our uh, state's uh, amusement park here. You got hepatitis. Yesterday <laughs> and hung out for a few hours. Rode some roller coasters and whatnot. I don't know. The, an Iowa amusement park sounds about like the most unsafe amusement park you could go to. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs, have you ever been to Valley Fair? I mean, that's. I've been fair. to Valley Fair in Minneapolis, yes. Okay. Well, it's shocking pee, actually, but um, it's basically like Valley Fair, but dumbed down just a little bit. Well, of course, it's Iowa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I live smack dab right in the between the two, so I've been to both a million times, and Valley Fair is legitimately better. But JC, his wife, I think, ended up getting some tickets really cheap where she mm. works. Nice. Or a family member did, or somebody. Somebody, I, I don't know the actual actual story, but he obtained the tickets for like 30 bucks. Mm. So, I think JC got them through Popeyes. <laughs> that could be. Jerry became Jerry finally got fired, remember? <laughs> but that was a good time yesterday. Um, and then I acquired a pair of uh, um, Osiris Loyal Subjects Megatron shoes that nice. were released a few years ago that I didn't uh, buy at the time. And I don't think they I knew existed at the time. But um, I found a pair pretty reasonable that I'm pretty stoked about this pair of shoes, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I've seen the pictures of them. Yeah, they're cool. Um, I have a, a few other um, Transformer-themed clothing, like the 
Calvin Johnson's. I don't know. You guys know football, so he's played for the Detroit Lions, I believe. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. I seen those when they came out too. They were kind of cool. Yeah, I got several pairs of those. Um, Damn, dude. And then JC yesterday gave me one of the Calvin Johnson Megatron hoodies yesterday. It's a purple and gray hoodie with the Decepticon symbol on it. Mm. So that was kind of what I snatched up for this week. Transformer related, but clothing, not toys. Mm. And I acquired a lot of fun at the theme park with my boy. Did you get a lot of, like, uh, cholesterol, too? Fuck yeah, dude. I ate, like, double bacon cheeseburgers from this overpriced shithole. Nice. Um, You know, pizza. I drank a bunch of beers. I ate a couple of Vicodin, smoked a bunch of weed. It was a good time. (laughs) I think you have a problem, like an everything problem. Yeah, I was going to say, like, everyday shit, you know, for me. I (laughs) overindulge in everything I do. Damn you do, man. Jesus. Oh, It gets gets better. Before before we move on, um, any listener, and you guys too, um, if you ever go to amusement parks, do not fuck with liquor. Any type of like tourist trap, I swear to God, the the liquor I got was like watered down pool water, Gross. and they just mixed it with Coke. Just stick to beers. I don't like beers, but that's what I had to drink the other day because I ordered a double at this place and it came, and it was like water, and I was like, this is not booze. Do not drink liquor in any type of tourist trap ever. Stick to your beers. Man, I like beers. Because they will fuck you over. And it costs a lot. (laughs) Nice. All right. So in the news this week, what do we got, gentlemen? Mm. First off, we have... uh, This is the stuff that Chris probably wanted to talk about. (laughs) We got uh, MechFans Toys Pipes. Ooh. I think that's what it is. It... That's what I was told it was, and they don't even give a fuck because they're putting MS for the uh, labels for these things. It's MS3? Yeah, so it's like uh, Magic Square because it kind of resembles their huffer they're making. Hmm. What's Lost Planet? I don't know. They just throw random shit up there. And I'm black! <laughs> yeah, oh, good. Yeah, right. We're talking about some talk Mech Fans to... toys shit. We're talking about well, what? Mech fans toys garbage. Oh, we were just team. walking into it now, but we're going to ask you how your week was and what did you get? Bunch of cock! Uh. Well, my week was alone for the most part. My uh, wife and kids were down in Disney with her mom and her sister and all that shit. And nice. So, Orlando action? Yep, I was kicking it solo style from Saturday till just now when I walked away to go welcome them back home. So a lot of, like, in the living room, completely naked, fucking jerking off. No, Trying to. disrespect my living room. Uh, well, you know what I mean, that, like, completely butt-naked fucking jerk? Nah, I don't do that. You weren't getting down on one of them? I didn't say I didn't fucking jack off. I'm just saying I didn't do oh, but... butt-naked. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, when I'm, when I'm home alone, I will the home draw alone all the shades. Draw, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Draw the shades. Turn up some fucking, cue up some porno on my giant 60-inch big screen. I sit about five feet from. And I'll sit there in the middle of the living room, stark naked, and rub one out. That's awesome. You know how many Fuck fucking yes. porn links I want to send you, but fucking Messenger won't let me send you anything? <laughs> Just write them down and then take a picture of it. <laughs> and, and you know what? I guess I'll have to do that. <laughs> Anyway, that was my, uh, my week. Um, I got... So you got to live single without the pussy. I guess so. I didn't eat but, like, one meal a day, and it was all fast food or junk food. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Um, what else? Oh, I got Legend Skill Outback and Cindersaur. I got a couple Outbacks so I could mod that one Outback, into Roll Bar. So, from now on, I'm going to count any customs that I complete during a week as part of my haul, because it creates mm. shit on my shelf. Mm-hmm. So, I did the Throttle Bots and Legend Scale. Already had the 
road burn and I had a hot soldiers gold bug. So I took um, two other uh, bumblebee road burn molds and painted them in a searchlight and chase. And as you can imagine, the trouble came with a dump truck. So I remedied that by using the Legends Warpath mold and cut here, cut there, took a uh, knockoff piece of shit fucking uh, long haul uh, figure and chopped that up and got the cab and got the sides of the dump bed. And that worked out pretty good. The only problem is the paint or the spray paint that I chose for some reason ate the fucking joints on the plastic. So that anywhere sucks. there was a pin or a bend, anytime I bent it, it fucking immediately broke. That wasn't your paint. It was the plastic. Well, the plastic was just fine before I put the paint on it. So the yeah, paint but did like to it. Yeah, the, the chemical you know, reaction of it, but that's just because the plastic was fucked, probably. Well, it's Hasbro plastic, what are you going to do? It's durable enough. So I took all those uh, cans of paint from the same manufacturer I had in a couple different colors, just put a big sticker on it that says, not for robots. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you try, uh, would you try on another robot, maybe? Just for uh, some trial and error, or are you just over the paint already? No, I seem to remember having some fragility issues with this paint, but, you know, I chalked it up as, you know, just, uh, must have been something else I did. But this, the only thing I did was spray paint it, so I know it's the fucking paint doing it. Okay, so it's a paint you've had issues with before. Apparently. Yeah, see, I figured it was just like you're used to the same paint, and all of a sudden you used it on a certain plastic, and then it created issues so nah, and yeah very, fuck that paint then i very rarely use spray paint anymore you know other than primer um but or I was clear just, maybe or yeah, and a clear coat but uh this time i just wanted to fucking quick you know do the blue green fucking orange white you know so i you got, ever do any airbrushing i have never mastered the skill i have actually never you know other than one or t once or twice ever held a fucking paintbrush because you think that, like, especially if you were going to just paint one of your own figures, not e not necessarily completely customize it, but mm -hmm. customize it paint-wise. It's one of those skills that you, I know I should acquire and probably need to acquire, like welding, that I just haven't done. Right. You think that the, I, I, if I was about to do a custom, I would probably take all the pieces apart mm -hmm. and then paint each piece of what I want with spray paint or an airbrush just real quick so that way and then reassemble it and then that way it would be like basically perfect. Yeah, I mean, that is the right way to do it. I am telling you that I did not do it the right way. I took shortcuts on purpose because it's only fucking legends and... I was well, like, I mean, you can mask off joints and spray and stuff. I'd do that. I'd do a lot of that too if I could get away with it. I mean, the proper way is take it all apart, sand the parts that you know, rotate around each other or touch each other in some manner, you know, especially yep. around joints, and then, you know, build up the layer with, the, you know, paint to the same la level it was before. Yeah. And put it all back together, blah, blah, blah. Or even a little better in some cases. Yeah. Hmm. I should give it a whirl sometime. Go for it. Did yeah, you get anything else this week? I, I was going to say, you're going you're gonna to redo that, um, that wide load? Yeah, once I get another Legends of Warpath. And I'll that just motherfucker was painting. money, dude. What you did with that was amazing. Thank you. Like, it, it looked it looked factory. Like, that's how good that shit came out. <laughs> and apparently it acted like factory because it's all <laughs> <laughs> Is it collecting any dust? What's that? Is oh, because it it's a Warpath? No. Yeah. <laughs> it, it will, Are though, because I don't dust my shit for, like, more than so, once a year. Did it actually break yet? Or is it just starting to crack and all that shit? Oh, no, it fucking totally broke. Any, there's The legs rotate out, and you fold them into each other to make the feet and the legs. Mm -hmm. And all those joints are just totally fucking brittle as fucking buzzing. Damn. Well, hey, man, if you're uh, if you're going to toss it, just save it for me. I'll hot glue that bitch back together. <laughs> That's what I did to my, uh, my loose G1 Electro from childhood, man. That motherfucker was like in five pieces. And I glued his ass together in bot mode and stood him up on the shelf. Is that the one with the uh, gold plastic syndrome? Yeah, the syndrome? gold plastic syndrome. Yeah. 
And then I've got um, Schrodinger's uh, Electro that I got from Bedbugs. It's it's unopened in the package in car mode, and it is both simultaneously broken and unbroken at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new category, broke in package. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's actually broken or not. I'm never going to find out. <laughs> one day it will be the last one. I've never actually acquired anything that was broke in package when I got it and I ever had to deal with returning anything or anything. Lucky. Yeah. All right, so we want to get into this fucking news? Yeah, yeah. news, Peter. All right, first up is my little buddy, Mech Fans Toys Haiku. Fuck Mech Fans Toys. <laughs> he is their Legends version of Pipes, and he fucking looks fantastic. Well, he looks good because they probably stole the mold from somebody that was talented. No. They, <laughs> I think they've got, come to a point that they are just going with their own shit now. I've seen enough of their renders and enough of their fucking look-to-be uh, production sample or production-ready fucking samples here to to see. I, this Lost Planet thing, you know, when I was coming back, I heard DA ask what Lost Planet was. It's their line of their own original shit. So anything Mech Fans Toys that's Lost Planet is their own design. Or is it <clears throat> whoever they have tied up in a fucking basement making the designs. <laughs> is this going to be that larger scale? Yep. Jesus. But I think they're, like I said in a previous show, getting them to size down just slightly so it comes more in line with what DX9 is doing. But so I don't know. What the f- so what the fuck is the the thing next to pipes that <laughs> with the tread feet? Uh, with their Lost Planet releases, they also give you little uh, action suits that people are supposed to get inside. I think it's like a diaclone or some fucking kind of shit. I don't know. Okay. What the fuck it is. But it's part of the you know everything Lost Planet that they've done has come with it. Hmm. hmm. Springer Weird. came with it. I think um, Six Shot came with it. And one of the other ones did. So I have like three or four of their little mech suits. But yeah, fucking pipes here looks awesome. Sure how much does he think how much you think he's gonna run? About twenty five. That's not too bad. That's where most of their uh, things lie, especially, you know, something this size. Um their most expensive thing so far is their Omega Supreme, and that's coming out at like 70 or 80 bucks. Now, how big is that thing? I would say it'd probably come in around the size of the original Omega. Okay. I haven't seen any uh, videos of it, or it, I think it's due out either the end of August or early September. And they just hmm. uh, today released. Uh, pictures of the Blue Sentinel version. Huh. That's hmm. neat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here. So oh. who's in on this bad boy? Obviously me. Yeah. Hmm. And probably it looks only legit. me. Yeah, I don't do Legends, so I'm if not it's like, it, if it's it like twenty, legit. If it's like 20 bucks and it matches the other one, I might buy it. Hmm. And, neat little pipes. You know, it, it offers you the opportunity to have a different mold for a mold mate. So you go with DX9 Tougher and or Magic Square Tougher and you go with Mech Fan Toys uh, pipes. Yeah, why not? And pipes always seem like he'd be a little bit bigger for some reason to me. Just slightly. Like he's like the bulked up version. Not bulked up, <laughs> just like just a little bit bigger. He's the one using the roids. <laughs> yeah, he's on, like that, roid he's on that street shit, son. Why do can't they call him fucking pipes, son? He's in and out of the he's in and out of the joint, lifting weights all the time. Mm. I'm going to jail. Fuck yeah, yeah. good time. Twenty five hundred calorie a day diet, lifting I'm weights constantly. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> going to prison on. will make you pretty healthy pretty quick, dude. Gross. Next up is Red Lightning, 
their sideswipe. He is also this Lost is, Planet, but uh, they didn't show any pictures of his little mech suit buddy. Again, this is a Legends. Yep. Everything it that, looks lit. It looks legit. These legends are looking fucking legit, dude, these days. This is where the third-party companies are going. I mean, this is becoming the the it thing right now, the whole legends. Mm Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, a lot of the time you find see the deluxes are better than the Voyagers. It's like deluxe, semi-masterpiece-y, type technology in these legend scale figures and it yep. start they're starting to be really cool man yeah they are i don't even want to dive in this rabbit hole but every time i see <laughs> one every week i'm just like god <laughs> damn these this is a legends figure <laughs> stop yeah my fucking autobot legends shelf is just full right now the way i had it set up so i'm gonna either have to change the way i got it set up or find some more shelf space for it and i'm kind of out of fucking shelf space and I can see the appeal to it, too, because, I mean, imagine, I mean, doing the same thing on a masterpiece level is just, it's it's a pretty hit, pretty big hit on the wallet, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know? With this legend scale, you can have, like, the best of both worlds and have every, I don't know, man. Some of these are looking really cool. I mean, I'm not about to th- cash in my chips just yet, but I might start another collection because mm-hmm. I'm pretty much done. Already as it is. It's kind of like a chick with a dick, you know? God. You might think, hey, you look at it and say, hey, maybe, maybe, just maybe. But (laughs) you're not ready to fucking dip in yet. Yeah, I might not, like, (laughs) suck it off or jerk it off or let you do me, but, I mean, there's some butt stuff. I can can do butt stuff to you. Okay. That's fair. Fair enough. Two can play. All right, so, yeah. No, I don't know, dude, because it's a dude. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> so, uh, Sideswipe here looks pretty fucking awesome, uh, but Magic Square also has Sideswipe and Red Alert. You can be sure that if we've seen a Sideswipe mold, Red Alert's coming. So, mm-hmm. fear not, McFans Toys fans. You shall have your Red Alert as well. <laughs> <laughs> will, he, will he be White Lightning? Vice Lightning! <laughs> Max Schnell! Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, next up is Transform Dreamwaves Upgrade Kit for Abominus and the Terracons. Uh, the it kit- looks great. It's probably $100. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to say, this this upgrade kit looks fucking phenomenal. I might buy this set just for this. No- oh, it's Oh, it comes with um, a... Torso bot though. What? Or no, are those all just clip-ons? That, that's all clip-ons on Abominus. Yeah. Or on Hunger. Oh really? They they have a Hunger that seems to be painted <laughs> the same color as the rest of their pieces. Then. Well, just because all of the colors on Hunger are covered by the plates, because they they have clip-ons that go on the thighs and on oh, the chest. Oh, I'm seeing it here. Oh wow, dude! It's like a whole type a whole armor kit yep mm-hmm. dude i might track this thing down with it for this kit because my combine the only combiners i have are are basically the combiner wars ones anyways mm-hmm. unless i decide to switch them all out and if i'm serious about acquiring this character this upgrade kit looks sick oh fuck this thing makes it i've seen it combine normally and it looks like yeah it looks fucking, fucking stupid yeah now, how about this, though? Like, after you've already bought the four limb bots and this kit, aren't you about three quarters of the way to just buying a used Orden? True, but you know what I do? I just wait for the Sarah Zang fucking knockoff, bro. Mm. <laughs> so what the hell's the pre-order gift there in the... Oh, so it's like an extra face and some wings for the chest, or what? Yeah, the, uh... <coughs> Excuse me, just took a hit. Um... The wings are for the Call of the Primitives episode. Mm. Surprising they didn't put an extra head in there, though. They put extra face, but not extra head. Because <coughs> in that episode, his head is shaped different, too. He's got a long antenna instead of like what looks like you know, the ends of rifles or whatever mm. right now. 
I need to see color version of this Racist. now. I can't even say colored anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I mean, this kit, just like the fucking Victorian upgrade yeah, kit that I got. for sure. Absolutely makes the fucking thing. And yes, you know, you spend a lot of fucking money to make it look right, but for the size, it's pretty good. Yeah, especially now, if you're in that if collecting in that scale too. And, I mean, and generally on. these kits are around seventy, eighty dollars. Now, who's the other company that makes upgrades for Combiner Wars? Perfect Effect. Okay, so do you think they're going to have a, an Abominus dude, that's better than this? Perfect won't go this hard, dude. They're going to make some hands, some feet, and then maybe like a little weapon thing. They're not uh, going to go this hard, dude. They never did. Yeah, this, even is, with, this is the only one you're with, getting. Yeah, mm-hmm. with, with the Menasaur and the Bruticus, I know, the ones that I have, they came out with like an armor piece and a sword for the Menasaur, and then hands and feet for another set. Mm-hmm. And then Bruticus, they came out with hands and feet, and then the other one was like a head and some guns. No, what? What? They're not going to go this hard, dude. How about how about that other company that's doing the new uh, Motormaster and uh, Onslaught for those combiners? Mm-hmm. What if they, yes. what if they do a new uh, Hunger that actually transforms with the, you know, the double heads for the knees and everything like that? That that's not a new company. That's Toy World. Okay, that's Toy World. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. So, they don't know what to do with themselves now. So, what, what if they do a hunger for the set instead of the upgrade kit? They actually just make a, a better hunger for the torso bot. Then there'll be another option. That's, but, that's the best answer I can give you. I mean. Uh, okay, well, let me rephrase the question. So, if based on how their onslaught and their uh, motor master look, if they do a hunger that looks that good, would if you had already bought this, would you buy that to replace it? Depends on how the hunger looks, because this this hunger actually doesn't look that bad as a fucking dragon. But, you know, bot mode could be a little bit better. But in general, yeah, I mean, I would rather have a whole figure than just an add-on kit. Because when you're not using them, or if you want to fucking arm up your Terracons to retarded fucking level, you can certainly do that with these things. Mm-hmm. I didn't even bother putting a picture of that shit in here, because I think it's stupid. Oh, because I'm assuming all the feet come apart in hand, just like the perfect effects do, so you can, everyone has guns and armor and shit. Man, you can make a fucking base out of it, you can fucking uh, put your weed in it and fucking smoke it. Yeah, yeah if you mm. didn't know, you could keep your weed in it. Nice. <laughs> I don't have any. It's an exact replica <laughs> of G1 Soundwave. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know this, but right here, you can keep your weed in it. Nice, man. <laughs> That's some cool stuff, bro. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so I'm not going to buy this, but I, if I was going to combine my uh, Terracons, I would buy it because this. Yeah, it, if I had the if I had the fucking chug Terracons right now, if I went and bought them all, I would buy this thing. I'd be in on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have any of the Terracons yet myself. See, I have mm. Orton, and he's the he's in the Abominus mode, and it looks pretty mm-hmm. good. Yeah, man, I, I stopped buying this shit, so I'd stop looking at it. Yeah, I love Orton, man. That, I actually got a pretty good deal on mine. I think I paid like 230 God bucks damn. or something like that for it. Yeah, it's a lot of times it pays to wait. What do they say? Like, patient saves pockets? Mm. Fucking did did for Orden because I would have spent five hundred six hundred dollars on that motherfucker. Is that some type <laughs> of like ju- ju saying or something? No, that's unique toys. No, the uh, patience pays or whatever. Uh-huh. Patience pads pockets or something. Is that what it is? Yeah, I can't remember who it is, man. One of the guys in the ROC says that. Uh, it makes sense. I like patient. I don't know what he says, but patience pads pockets sounds pretty good. Saves pockets, not pads. Okay. Well, pads, it is good. I mean, it's it's more it's another P. Hmm. Okay, it says P P P. I, yeah. I prefer the patience pads pockets. I always okay. use the uh, the five P's. What's that? Prior painter, play. painter, painter. No, 
prior planning <laughs> prevents piss poor performance. Yeah, or, or I prefer the kiss method myself. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm. Or painter, 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 painter. <laughs> is, is that what this episode's going to be called? Is acronyms are fun? Acronyms are fun. Acronyms are fun. <laughs> It's going to be called Fuck Having Legs. <laughs> you know what? Folks? Well, That's if you get close to that 750 other. club, you won't need them. <laughs> so, who's buying it? Um, I'd have to God, get the Abominus first. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not, to. but if I had all that shit, I'd buy it for sure, because this thing looks legit. I still need the three goddamn fucking rest of the limbs. They haven't made it to South Jersey yet. Oh, oh, they're all, they just showed up my stores. You want me to grab them and send them, send them to you? Sure. Yeah, it's the, I just saw them the other night. I can go grab them. One each, please, sir. <laughs> yes, I can do that. So you're talking to everybody, what, Ripper Snapper, right? And you have hunger. No, I have Ripper Snapper and hunger, so I need Cutthroat, Blot, and Sinner Twin. Done. Thank you. Yeah, right I've after heard the show. I, I'll make my wife take me because I'm drinking. Uh, I've heard uh, Cutthroat has like a jaw problem with the bird head, though. I'm sure. I'll sniff through the package and look at it really good. And if there's more than one, I'll choose the one that looks like it has the best paint and Dude, looking the don't best. Don't even fucking worry about it. Because he's probably gonna paint that shit anyway. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I would do for myself for you. You mean you're gonna steal it? Yeah. No. Stuff it in a trash can and bring out might, that bitch. I might take one. Yeah. We got. We got. We got to make that a verb. We're gonna call it the Kassan. Okay, Here we yeah, are, David. You know what? Maybe I'll buy like a little fucking Tupperware container or something. <laughs> just fill it full of limb bots. Just yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, while you're at it, I need a hunger and, and you just go uh, through the fucking bo- self checkout and go boop and set that fucker on the floor. Do you want to bag this item? No. Nope. And in, <laughs> bad in true fucking, you know, fashion, you need to get them all off the pegs, like, take all of them, and then fucking scalp them for, like, way I, over what fucking people should buy it for. There you go. Nah, nah, you can't do that, especially if you get them for free. 60 buck limbots. I got Painter you 60 bots. buck limbots. I'll go get your limbots, and then I'll steal one of the three, and then I'll leave a TKO sticker on the self-checkout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got knocked out. <laughs> All right, okay, moving yo. on. Yeah, let's go to the S D C C C C. See what <coughs> I could see, but all that I could see was the bottom of the deep blue sea roundup. Hey, real quick, would any of you guys splurge and then go all the way down to the Sa- to San Diego to go to see one of these fucking comic cons there? Nope. No, me neither. I think that would just be a complete fucking. Elbow to elbow, fucking nerd, sloppy, stinky fest. I'm conflicted. I think I'd want to do it once and only once, ju- just to see it. I mean, just like a lot of touristy places, you just want to go just to say you did it once and then I just be feel done. Like it'd be a super tourist trap, man. Yeah. Like huge. I mean, plus I'm not into fucking, you know, all everything that else. Shit. So yeah, I don't belong there. All right, yeah, I, would, I would love to go, too. That's something I would enjoy. Plus, hey. too many people, even though they're fucking technically, quote-unquote, our people, they're not fucking our people. Believe me. <laughs> Seeing the yeah, fucking like, cosplayers at TFCon last year fucking showed me all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I told you that, this year. I told you next year to, like, people cosplay be bored in the mid. People be bored in the Midwest, dude. They're going to be dressing up in Chicago, I bet. I told you to cosplay as James Roberts next year. <laughs> I'm going to get all the team pussy. We, Wizard uh, Cat will be in Chicago again. Yay. Just wear that cool uh, hat. Let's see if we can get banned. Yeah. <laughs> if if we're not already. I have a, I'm going to wait. We're going to be walking in. They're going to gank that shit off your head and run with it. Guys, <laughs> is there like a, um, a dress-up day or something? No. No. We should... Uh, I just no, fuck around with the cat ourselves. head on. I have a um, I have a Decepticon Baptist preacher outfit that I plan on wearing one of the days. <laughs> nice. Wear it on Saturday, main convention day. <laughs> there you go. That'd All cool. right. First up is the Hasbro Siege War for Cybertron trilogy, and this shit looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks decent. 
Oh yeah, the Ultra Magnus looks pretty good. I was watching yeah. a uh, an interview with the dude that fucking uh, you know is the face of fucking Hasbro Transformers. It's fucking name escapes me right now, but um, you see him every time something comes up. He was talking about it. And he said, you know, instead of doing fucking gimmicks where characters like Howls and Ironhide, they put that money and that plastic into better articulation, more paint apps and shit like that to actually appeal to more collectors. And furthermore, this is one of the first lines that scale matters to them. Okay, like, yeah. They want Ultra Magnus to be the fucking big guy and Hound to be important. I think that well, Hound looks fucking money, too. These are looking great. I mean, this Ironhide, I mean... I mean, the vehicle mode is... A, now, this is all Cybertronian mm-hmm. design. <clears throat> yep. But mm-hmm. yet, G1-esque for sure. Yep. So, I mean, why would Hound already have, like, a Jeep Cybertronian mode? Well, it, it, it's a Cybertronian truck. I mean, you can see it, it's actually got a roof and everything. But, I mean, uh, I, find it, I, I find it interesting that they gave him battle <laughs> damage. Like Everybody's the, got battle damage. That's part of the paint apps. Okay. So they're stepping up their fucking paint. Yep. Everything's got a fucking ankle rocker now. Mm-hmm. Or tilt, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think rock back and forth, tilt side to side, but who am I trying to prove anything to? But... <sighs> and looking at it, you know, especially, let's just look at Ironhide here. Yeah, There's like the there's, bot mode looks legit. There's not a lot of hollow. I mean, in a couple of spots in the arms, but the legs seem to at least the panels wrap around. Yeah, or whatever. Like all the panels are wrapping around legs, which is stopping hollowness mm-hmm. in the legs. So, so the only other two that were announced that we don't have in slides here because it's old news that Sideswipe and Optimus, right? Yes. So this is just like a huge wave of Autobots then. What's this? Cog is probably a Decepticon, maybe, right? No, Cog no, is he's, a, no? Autobot. He goes character. with Fortress. He goes with Fortress Maximus. But what you can do with Cog is you can take him all apart, and he can battle up, fuck, or you know, power up fucking other characters. Yeah, I'm not familiar with him. They're starting yeah. a, a three millimeter port thing, and it's to go, go along with their little um, their mini cons, their mini cons, <laughs> and their lower end like the Target Master thing, that have blast effects. So you can put a blast effect onto one of the robots look like they got shot or they're shooting out of the fucking gun, of course. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Always got to have a gimmick, but at least make it, like, kind of cool. That's, yeah, that's an acceptable gimmick. I mean, that adds mm-hmm. to the yeah, display yeah. value of it. Like, exactly. I don't need some little fucking headmaster or whatever. Especially if you're playing, like, as if you're a kid... Like, pew, pew, this guy got shot. <clears throat> Boom. Mm-hmm. Make it look like he got shot. And that's, like, the most simplest gimmick-type thing you could do that will... I don't know, man. When they throw on all these crazy gimmicks, sometimes it just kind of ruins it. Mm-hmm. And it's so simple. The only one in this lineup here that is, like, a, a reuse of a previous line is Chromia. She's just a fucking repaint of... the other fembots that they did in the uh, Power of the Primes line. Looks good, though. Yeah, it's fine. It just finishes the set. And that's probably yeah. exactly what they wanted to do. It looks so, better than the previous Chromio, the, the Prime RC remold. Hmm. Yeah. So there's no reveals of any uh, cons? This is just the first wave? Are they going to do a Dece- like an Autobot wave and then a Decepticon wave then, I'm assuming? This is just it, what they had time to get together for uh, SDCCC. C-C-C. Man, you know what? Shout out to whoever decided to paint that gun that Chromia has. Mm. Yep. Well, that looks way better. That, that that could have just been a hunk of fucking blue plastic, but it's not. Shout out to that guy. That's part of their, yeah. their, their thing on this, is they want better paint apps. So they're mm-hmm. painting the gun yeah, instead of and, just and, being a hunk of plastic. And then look at the leader class figure that you pay more for. It's just blocky shit. With just plain guns. Yeah. Not to mention, they all got ankle tilts. Oh, yeah. Which, that's Except something for the Legends asking figures. For. It's so simple, too, to, for him to do that. Oh, the, the, Legends fig- 
the Legends figures, though, the bottom of the feet become the roof on the cars, so I can see why they wouldn't be able rough. to do that easily. Roof. Not rough. Roof. What happened? It is interesting. It, <laughs> it, it is interesting just looking at uh, Magnus versus Optimus, how different the truck modes are uh, for this line instead of being straight up repaints. Yeah, they also addressed that. They said they wanted to like kind of marry G1 with RID. They're they're doing it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And they're also doing the uh, the Minicon MicroMasters here. Uh, yeah, Autobot Battle Patrol, Autobot Race Car Patrol, and Autobot Rescue Patrol. <laughs> And I'm really happy to see this again. I'm in on these. Uh, I had the rescue patrol when I was a kid. See, this was the this was the death of my transforming or transformers collecting when this stuff started to come out. Coincided when I was getting out, and I just wasn't interested in this tiny shit. So, you know, this is kind of I don't know. I look at it as like, okay, is this mean this is the end of this shit too? <laughs> Well, uh, and just being a fan of the MicroMasters, I do hope they do the rest, because, I mean, the Rescue Patrol had four members, so to see only two of them, it's like, I hope they do the other two as well. It'll be a Walgreens exclusive. <laughs> Watch well, original MicroMasters start becoming a, a thing that our people are going to start hunting down again now. Mm-hmm. They're going to remind them that they exist, and they're going to start hunting them down. I never actually... Uh, collected the MicroMasters. I'll buy them if I find them, and they're really cheap, which they usually are, but I don't really hunt for them. Mm. They are cool. I, like, I These new ones, though, look like they're going to be a little bit more advanced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I think that's cool. They also like they might be a little bit bigger. And these are going to be $10 per pair. Oh, for a pair? Mm-hmm. That's, that's not bad. Are they like little one-step changers, though? For the most part, I mean, you can see, you just flip the fucking feet back oh, on the okay. cars. Oh, okay, you do get, you, okay, you do flip them. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a couple steps, but it's not overly involved. Yeah, ten bucks for two of them, that's not terrible at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the, these are bigger than, like, the Armada Minicons, it looks like, so they're, they're Yeah, almost... but not as big as a Legend. It's like right. in between Armada Minicon and a Legend figure, it looks like. So, given the price increases and, you know, inflation... So, like the size of a matchbox. Yeah, that, that, that's perfectly acceptable, I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and then their $5 the matchbox items... Matchbox cars, a buck something. Are gonna well, be- and, I, and I'm sure Hasbro knows that a $10 price point uh, is popular with parents, so if they could... And this is how they got into the $10 price point, now the deluxes are, like, 16 so... Mm-hmm. And they got a $5 price point, which is the fucking uh, little... Target Masters or Power Master fucking power-up things. The first one's called Lionizer. I didn't put it in. But, you know, it becomes a gun and whatever, mm. and it has the blast effect. It is what I it is. I think 20 bucks is going to start being a quite regular price for a deluxe figure from now on, here on out. Well, I mean, yeah. if, if this is what they're giving you for fucking 20 bucks, like an Iron High... Yeah, well, I mean, like, but like Bug said, and oh, I think JL said, look, I mean, look at the paint on just the guns on the deluxe figures. Mm-hmm. And then, like, then you look up at the the, the uh, leader class figure, and you just see it compared to the deluxe figures, what are just killing it, and they kind of always have. What about if it's just too much money to paint them big ones? Hmm. I mean, I could see that just the penny pinching, like, oh fuck, it's gonna cost thirty cent to paint this just one. Just look at the gray molded gun. And then look at the RC gun, the Ironhide gun, and the Hound gun. I mean, they all have paint apps all throughout them. The guns have more goddamn paint apps than the goddamn toys do. God damn it right. I I do like that this line, because, I mean, obviously there's going to be comparisons to the the video game lines previously, the War for Cybertron and Fall for Cybertron uh, toy lines, but uh, I like that... I like that these, while they're Cybertronian designs, they don't feel super advanced compared to Earth designs mm-hmm. like the previous designs were. Um, like, if, if you look at the uh, Fall Cybertron Optimus, I, I mean, it was kind of War Within inspired, but... Uh, or the, the Bumblebee looked uh, a little too slick. 
uh, compared to this. So it'll be interesting to see what all other Autobots they do. Um, I'm I'm kind of debating <sighs> about what, whether or not I want to replace any of my Chug figures with these. Um, no, no, you just get these. These look fun. <laughs> I'm excited right, to see a what, bunch of chug. what uh, yeah, the cons well, might look like. These are looking fun. Well, like, for instance, uh, my Ironhide and Ratchet, the, they're the Bakon versions, the Energon Toe Line remolds. So the, this Ironhide looks really good, and yes, it is a Cybertronian mode, but... Uh, but it's G1 enough in bot mode. Right, and the, the Energon Toe Line mode is, wasn't exactly 100% Earth-looking van mode either, mm-hmm. so I'm leaning towards, especially if they do a Ratchet, which I assume they'll be doing, uh, repaint out of this that I'll most likely get those to replace because the, the Energon Toe Line mold is also uh, small compared to the other deluxes in the Chug scale too. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, the Hound, I don't know if I'd replace my Chug Hound with that. Uh, obviously, uh, I'd prefer this Chromia over the one I have, which is the Prime remold. But uh, th- that Magnus. Uh, uh, I've said for a while that I'd take something really good to replace my fans' Project Magnus, and uh, it, that's kind of looking like it. Uh, oh I, I mean, I mean, I, I might just get both and have both. That's Are you talking about statement. fans' project? Are you talking about fans' project? City Commander? That's still Mike Chuck Magnus, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that's the first time I was ever disappointed in this hobby was when I got that shit and saw it in real life. <laughs> See, this whole uh, Siege line actually marks the combining of the talents at Takara and Hasbro. They're going back mm-hmm. and forth on designing these things. Uh, in America, their main focus is from the robot mode, and you know they have some license because there's mm-hmm. not a lot of you know what the other characters look like in Cybertron. Um, but... He said they go back and forth, they send them their ideas, they send their ideas back, and they tighten up the design overall, and this is what they came up with, and goddamn, it's pretty good. It's like, lo- looking at Ironhide, it, it, it does remind me of Swindle from uh, Fall Cybertron, uh, and I'm kind of wondering if suddenly we might see some reissues of that Bruticus set, even though it wasn't very good. That thing was terrible. <laughs> Probably but not. I mean, I think they're trying to take a step in the better direction. You know, they're reissuing G1, but that's G1. Right. I don't think they're going to issue some fucking all Cybertron garbage. Well, it, like it's been pointed out, we haven't seen any Decepticons yet, so if they don't have any, if they're just designing Autobots, they might do a filler like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could see them doing that, just because the the aesthetic is still there in the Combaticons, but obviously, like like we said, it's it's not the best Bruticus there is, but it would match the aesthetic. I mean, do we... I, I don't even think we know if this War for Cybertron has any link to that game. This, and, you know, and, it, and it doesn't it doesn't have to, that's what I'm saying. If, if, if Amazon or Walmart wants uh, an exclusive, Hasbro might just, yeah. since they have the molds, just toss it to them and do a repaint or something. That's feasible. Here's something I want to bring up. Do you think that it would be safe to say that with um, this War for Cybertron trilogy series thing happening, that there could possibly be another video game in the mix? I hope so. I wonder that as well. I mean, well, like they got they lost their licenses between Activision and Hasbro. That's why they yanked all the other games. You know that. They're missing well, out if they don't have something on a gaming platform. Actually, Activision, I think they did the movie ones. Didn't High Moon or something like that do the War for no. Cybertron? Yeah, they did, but those games were still property, I guess, of Hasbro and Activision. I think Activision was a publisher. Well, and I High know Moon High Moon's the... no longer existent, isn't it? Yeah. They're done. Well, you can't even download that shit if you own it. Like, I went ahead and downloaded all of them on Steam and made a backup of them, like, online and in person. So, like, I have it preserved forever. Because they are, like, great games, the first two. The third one's yeah, kind of there. And Devastation's gone, too. And that, sh- that game's not even that old. 
I got that yeah. on my computer in the shop. Man, I only got I only had, I had it on Xbox. So once my Xbox dies, that shit's gone forever, dude. Mm. Yeah, I had it on my PlayStation Four, and I sold it to some kid down the street. And and that's that's the thing. Like I uh, I usually like to buy physical games, but I bought the oh I always buy physical games. I never do DL shit. Well, I bought the digital version of that, and so now I don't even have it anymore. They should give you your fucking money back when that happens. Mm. But right now it's still on my hard drive, so until it finally goes away. Hmm. All right. So, Penis. let us move on to the Cyberverse, the Transformers uh, Cyberverse. Uh, this is the kid stuff. So we'll go through it pretty quickly. There are, it's for blind kids. Yep. Yeah, there are a couple other figures that weren't uh, – they didn't have slides for, so I didn't include them. Uh, but this is what they're. Well, a couple of these already have been out for a while too. Really? Yeah, that shockwave's been being spotted and picked up, and and the um, shadow striker too, I believe, right? I don't know if they've been out, but I. Oh I'm wait, I'm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this uh, shockwave's been being found at stores. Yeah, I mean, we've it? seen pictures of, it, but I don't know if it's out yet. Maybe it's out overseas, but I, I haven't heard anybody in America have it. But I don't have my fucking ear to the railroad track, so whatever. Oh, man, I'm thinking of that, that shockwave that doesn't have knees. Oh, the, never mind. The Walgreens one, yeah. Yeah, never mind, man. All right. Make me doubt myself. Fuck, Forget fuck. I said anything. All right, we got Ultra Class Shadow Striker, whoever the fuck that is. I'm high. Cock! And Ultra Class Decepticon Shockwave. Turns into a fucking... Dildo on wheels. Or dildo with four legs. Actually, looks like some fucking stupid shit from one of the Star Wars movies, like the second or the third one. Mm-hmm. Fucking the purple cl- dick clone, droid. Clone tanks. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I kind of dig the fucking bot mode. You know. And yeah, I, it looks all right. And I'll definitely get one to go on my shelf. But... It looks like that thing that General Grievous rode before it turned into a fucking sphere. Yeah. Oh, the rolled yeah. off. <laughs> Um, this Shadow Striker, that just fucking reeks of an R.I.D. figure right there. Yeah, that's like a one-step changer. <laughs> it, it may even changer. be, for all I know. I mean, I didn't thought it, that shit. It appears that it has no elbows. The oh, only one that looks halfway decent is that fucking uh, Windblade. And that's Warrior Class. I don't, I don't know, dude, that what? Megatron looks pretty cool. I don't know these I might classes. buy that thing. What are Ultra, I think Warrior, Warrior is the, and... I'm, Scout. Warrior class is is like is the deluxe. deluxe version of the Cyberverse, and then Pinterest. the uh, the Scout is basically your legend. Your Alter class would be like your Voyager slash leader, I believe. Okay. So they have a Peter class. Uh, well, they should, and it should be this. They should be like little headmasters. And they do have you know the, the Scout version and everything of fucking Windblade, so. You know, but they have a warrior class. But they also have a warrior class Megatron. But they have an ultra class Shockwave. There better be a fucking ultra class Megatron, too. No. No. They'll probably just do this, man. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In what? I guess in this fucking universe, fucking Shockwave is bigger than Megatron. Maybe. I think that I think they showed this mold a long time ago, though. I feel like they actually already released it at some point. Mm. No, I don't know, man. I thought I saw that shit in stores. This Megatron? No, the uh, Shockwave. No, I feel like that's a review, man. like a right. Walgreens exclusive in those little boxes. No, that's the other one. We just we just we went over that a few minutes ago. Where the fuck were you? I don't know. <laughs> fucking gout, fucking with your ear too. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got in the Warrior class, Windblade, Megatron, and Acid Storm, and that looks fucking ridiculous. What, the Acid Storm? Yeah, it looks like a fucking shitty Sir Toys fucking thing. That mold don't look too bad, but them colors gotta go. <laughs> the Megatron comes with, like, a mace on the end of his hand. It's mm-hmm. not even, yeah, he don't even, it's have not a, even a mace, it's just, it's just a, a ball mace, like, on the end of his fist. Mm-hmm. I'm buying that thing. 
And in Scout class, we have Windblade, uh, Optimus Prime, of course, and Slipstream. Dumb. 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 Mm. Yep. So, that don't look too bad. The Prime looks like garbage, but the other two don't look too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Let's go to some good shit. Yeah. Um, G1 reissues. Yay! Yay. Yes. No! Look, I'm not a big fucking G1 collector, but something about a fucking Devastator box set is getting my fucking dick yeah. for it. Yeah, I want to hang that shit. Yeah. On, I want to hang that shit on the wall. Just look at it. Yep. Dude, I had a pretty extensive G1 collection at one time, and I love G1. I, I first started it off grabbing originals, and then I realized that if you track down the reissue, you could basically have a brand new version of it and look have it looking crispy clean on your shelf. Mm-hmm. Like, well, you know what? Some about it, if you can get it at store cost. These are great values for G1 collectors or somebody that just wants that in their collection. See, I inadvertently have a few reissues. I try, I still try to buy original G1 when I can, though. I'm just that kind of guy. Yeah, just like, throw them some money. But, like, there is, there, there is something about, like, I've handled a few of the reissues because I've bought them for other people when I find them. And um, it is something about having, like, an almost brand new fucking G1 figure, which is kind of cool. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have this 25 year old figure that has like half yellowed stickers mm-hmm. all rubbed off yeah. of it. But, just because you know it's old, like, or here, just have like a, a truth, perfect though. brand new version of it. Well, supposedly this Devastator is going to be about 79 bucks, and the truth yeah. is, is for 79 bucks you can almost buy an original G1 one that's in decent shape. Fuck yeah. I think maybe a hundred bucks tops. But, even but this one's in the box. No, it doesn't come in the box. But you get what I'm no. saying. But every time they reissue, it obviously loses value. The original and the original yeah. reissue too. And honestly, I don't know. For me, it's the fucking the packaging. I can give a yeah. fuck about yeah. the goddamn shitty goddamn. And the nostalgia. Oh, I love it's those like figures. It's like buying the fucking Nintendo retro units for like eighty bucks. It's the same mm. fucking games. Mm-hmm. You can, get, you can get them on emulators any day of the week, but all of a sudden, Nintendo releases it in a box set, and everyone loses their goddamn minds. Yeah. Hey, can I can I bring up the fact that I have a retro pie with all that shit on it, and I'm superior to everybody? Yeah, we've <laughs> talked about that. And, oh yeah, but I, like, I like bringing it up. It just makes me feel good about myself. We need fresh material. Mm. I need this gout to go away so I can start drinking again. <clears throat> that's but, uh, that's fresh material. Uh, I, am, <laughs> I am definitely in on this Devastator. Uh I mean, I just bought the the Encore one with the anime head, uh, not, not, what was that, TFCon last year. Uh, But uh, this one, I want to get and keep it mint in box. I want to find one that uh, is... uh, Yeah, especially for 80 bucks. Right. I'll buy one. That's not bad, six bucks. Six bucks for 80 bucks. Well, well, and I'm a Devastator collector, so to have one mint in package like that... Is just a, a dream come true, <laughs> rather than buying a KO in uh, the box like that. Aren't those uh, KO box ones about the same price when they were out? Yeah, the knockoff one was for a while, and then the original was. I wanted to say the original reissue went for like 120, 150 for a while, and then the knockoff one was like 80. Yeah, what do you think's the chances of them doing a G2 or an orange set? <laughs> uh, probably very high. I don't think the G2 or the orange ones ever came in a, in a box set, though, did they? No, no, they didn't. They just came individually packaged in the clamshell. Yeah, God, that, that would be awesome as shit. That would be awesome as shit to release something um, like that. The orange one was at KB Toy Stores, wasn't it? Yep. I would love to have them repla- re- to like release all those individually. Dude, I remember sh- seeing those sh- shelf warming at a KB Toy Store at my... <laughs> now they're like $100. Mall. Did a Devastator come packaged like this ever time? In G1, they had a box set, yes, but not in G2. See, when I got my Devastator, I got them all fucking individually. Yep. Well, yeah. Yeah, all, all the G1 combiners were available both way. ways, yeah. Okay. Yeah, after uh, they released them the first year, I think they came out with the box set afterwards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now they're also doing little uh, mini-bots. And Yay! I think Odd selection. Yes. <laughs> Tailgate, 
Outback, Swerve, and Bumblebee, but Bumblebee has a new face. Yeah, he's yeah, got the face. encore head. Yeah. The packaging doesn't show it. Mm-mm. And we also have Starscream. Whoop de frickin' do. You know what? I, I hate don't those it. molds, dude. Th- those fucking G1 jets are terrible, dude. They are garbage. You know, they're I don't have fucking it. terrible. I don't have a G1 Starscream. My G2 is my G1 on my shelf. Man, I've every never... time you play with them, you're like, this doesn't look anything like the goddamn cartoon. I it's had not, them that's not even the bad and I just got rid of them. I was like, that's not even dumb. the bad. I'm that's done. not even the bad part, dude. The bad part is, is that the upper part of the body never stays in place. It always wants to swing back. Mm. Yeah. And then it, it, then you got him <laughs> with his fucking head detached. <laughs> dude, the wing, the gap, but like, if they could have solved the problem with just the fucking gap with the wings along the jet mode, that would have made it like eighty times better right out the gate. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that just be shortening the pegs a little bit? You think? They could have done that. Wait, how, how come I just didn't do that with mine? <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, just yeah. find a way to make it transform. I mean, what the fuck? Same thing with the Devastator. The Starscream I do kind of want to get just for mint and package. Because uh, I, I have the reissue one already. Yeah. I might actually get one and open that bitch up and put it on the shelf. If it's, they're gonna be, he's gonna be like what, thirty bucks, something like that. I think it'd be uh, cool I to think... have like a, a fucking seeker in a box, fucking devastator set in the box, and maybe a fucking Autobot car or something in a box, and then that's done. Mm-hmm. I'm totally in on the devastator reissue. Oh yeah. I mean, I had one and I got rid of it, but. It wasn't a mint and box one like this. I think I might just buy this just and leave it as is, put it up on the fucking shelf, and be like, fuck yeah, boy. Boy. Hey, you know. it, it, it does kind of shock me that they're not doing an Optimus in a G1 box. They will. <laughs> and isn't Walmart getting a hot rod? Yeah. That, that's the Do only box that Autobot, I think. This is all... These are um, Walmart G1 reissues, so the chances of us seeing a Megatron would be very slim. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Unless they just go ahead and do the G2 version of him. Well, yeah. is, uh, is that something you'd buy? I have my original G2 from when I was a kid still on my shelf. <laughs> I Which G2 are you talking about? I zoned out for a second. The G2 the big, Megs. The giant fucking block tank. I still the have Abram. mine too. Megaton <laughs> attack. Megaton I have mine attack. too. And I still have his fucking gun. I didn't even lose his gun or his missiles. So we talking have... about G2 Megatron? Yeah, yeah, the Abrams tank. Yeah, I got Man, one. Man, I up. can't wait for I can't wait for that fucking fans hobby one to drop. I think that's the only G2 piece of shit I got. Yeah, Shut me up. too. <laughs> that's the only G2 piece of shit I have. Well, G2 it works is out. Life. It, it works out perfect because he goes well with Power Master Optimus Prime because they're the same height. Dude, when he first fucking came out, he was like a Sears exclusive or something. I, think I, love I think my mom got it at Kmart because uh, I remember getting it in the 90s there for Christmas. Mm. But anyway. Alrighty. So I'll probably never see these fucking things in my local Walmart because I never fucking get dick. <laughs> you want to hear something sad, dude? You know what, my, you know what mine had? Oh, yeah. yeah there you go. Our Walmart literally has three Studio Series Deluxes, like the first wave. That's all they have. Like It's the only Transformers in the whole fucking store. Mm. I keep checking to see if I need hunger still to complete the abom- Abominus because, you know, I've tightened up my what I buy as far as, like, Hasbro Chug shit. Mm-hmm. And I, I decided after the fact that I wanted Abominus because I already had hunger and sold his ass. <laughs> because Yeah, I kind of want it now, too. Because I could never find the fucking Limbots. And I, after like two or three months, I'm like, I'm done. Fuck it. I sold his ass. Mm. <laughs> I haven't even looked for it, and I kind of want it now. Oh, well, now I want him back. Mm. I well, especially back, with that baby. kit coming out. So what's this next thing we got? We are moving into Flame Toys, Model Kits, and Doll Life. Now, Yay! There's some better pictures that came out of Bumblebee, but... Uh, <coughs> I guess uh, I don't even fucking care to find it. 
Um, mm-hmm. We had model kits, one one forty fourth scale. Okay. So they're going Gundam scale. Um, yeah. Really? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This. I guess it's Gundam. That does that does suck that they're that small then. Fuck. You, you got Prime. You got Bumblebee with the fucking jetpack and a hammer for some fucking reason. Yeah, they're not nobody much wants bigger that than the business that cards that are displayed next to them. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're Gundam size, which makes them almost completely useless to me. Hmm. And he also has some other couple fucking lines here that I guess are a step down version of like the drift, like this Optimus. I don't know what fucking line this is, but it's weird looking. Which one? The the red one, the unpainted uh, painted one. It almost looks like Revel Tech. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, they do like Rebel Tech, actually. Yeah, they look like that fucking pen that came out of that <laughs> Optimus and Nemesis not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's awesome that their Starscream doesn't stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see the unicorn Gundam behind them in the box? <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, that full psycho frame. Badass. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that motherfucker. And out of frame was a bunch of little fucking head fucking things on little bodies. So fuck all that. Uh, but they also have, I guess, in their main series, to go with the Tarn, a Star Saber, and a Prime. And there Cute. is a Megatron somewhere, but also <clears throat> no pictures. Oh. Man, that, that, that Star Saber, y'all didn't put one of the, the pictures with color in the fucking thing, but it looks fucking fire. I just wanted to point out to everybody that Megatron's my boy. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all, y'all go to, are we all in the joint together? Fuck yeah, dude. Nice. Did he rape you? Nah, man, I ain't about that shit. Oh, I don't know, man. That's what I heard. You take my life, you ain't taking my booty. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Where the fuck is this? Now I'm trying to look for that fucking picture of that. Well, I don't know, man. How good looking are you? Yeah, hold on. But I wish that, I wish that fucking Flame Toys charm would finally pop up on, uh, Amazon Japan it hasn't popped up. Flame yet. Toys just sounds fucking gay. Hmm. This is the name, <laughs> but it also sounds fire as hell though. It sounds like fans toys and hot toys combined. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a hot toys fucking parody. Mm-hmm. That's what they mostly resemble. Dolls, dolls, dolls. Flame dolls. <laughs> Flame, Flame dolls. dolls. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is our chat called now? Um, Peeners or something. Uh, Iowa boys fried food okay, or JC small it. peener chant. Iowa. <laughs> no, that's gone. He it, he no. got changed earlier, I think. No, JC no. small, small, peener, small chat peener chat. There, there you that's go. The main one. <laughs> Click on those links and you'll fucking see the bumblebee and the Megatron. It's oh painted. It looks good. Why does I mean the helicopter is kind of dumb, but whatever. It's this better gadget. I thought that was a cane, which would have been more accurate than that fucking giant hammer. I mean, at least the fucking helicopter gadget. backpack has a fucking, you know, the action master came with that shit. So, now, what am I looking co- at? Are these yeah. colored in the packaging and the gray ones are prototypes? Because I hope that's what that is. I don't know. Man. Are these the colored versions of these motherfuckers here that I'm looking at? That Megatron looks pretty good, too, What's man. What's with the fucking pelvis shit? Stop thrusting your fucking robot pelvises out. I can't stand it. <laughs> maybe, maybe they can't stand straight because of the stands. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at my cock! Cockamoga! Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that dude. Prime is awesome. I'm, I'm guessing that Prime is not a kit. That's actually going to be one of the large figures like Drift. Yeah, that and the Megatron. Why is it a movie Megatron, though? What are you talking about? I ain't no movie Megatron. That's fucking, um... Hey, what am I looking at? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it is a devastator. That's what I'm going to say. Bugs. What am I looking at? You see that one picture here? Which there's picture? There's a Debbie. The... And there's a Starscream. Yep. Am I supposed to be looking at the show notes here? What the fuck? I sent a link right. in the chat to the okay. pictures. All right. All right. <laughs> I see you gotta stop doing so many there. drugs, I bro. see a... Bumblebee with a helicopter blade on it. Yep, keep going through the pictures. <laughs> You'll see. Oh what... shit! Yep. Yeah, boy. Um, hmm. that's gonna be five hundred dollars. <laughs> Fuck. I don't. I don't think so. I think this is the uh, the model kit. 
because no, the- these are these look really big. Oh yeah, I don't know because the bumblebee's there. Yep. Shit. So I, you know what? Damn it. Cause if, if these are if these are pre-colored in about you know Gundam fucking uh whatever the one forty four scale is Am I fucking to be looking at difficulty. This, this Chinese Real grade. Yeah, if, if, engine optimus yes. link or whatever. The link. Alright. No, yeah. if these are if these are like high grade levels of difficulty Bumblebee and they're pre colored, I might actually get into this if there's this many of them. I I and this is a twelve stress prime. Th- this is a case of where I will not buy the whole line, but the devastator <laughs> is, has me thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Man, that Megatron oh. looks good though, dude. I see it hiding back there now. Yeah. He's got a big old shoulder cannon too. You see that shit? It's not I'm supposed to look that like that thing. It's not supposed to look like any particular Devastator. It looks like their own thing. Mm-hmm. I want to buy that thing. Because that Megatron kind of looks IDW. The rest of the shit is a little IDW. Man, that fucking but... Megatron got some big ass knee pads, son. That's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, dude. That's catching some rain. Fucking shit. That's like, no, some... dude, that's where you hold your drink and keep your dope. It looks like that's a like fucking Galvatron. Plant. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like some Galvatron fucking knees is what it looks like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Painters. So that's what we got here. And they, Wait, I, of course they showed their fucking torn, which is I guess close to Done here. Man, that Star Saber is fucking money there. And that Tarn is money. A lot of money, both of them. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, well the other photos in the link that you showed does have a uh and they're doing a, a movie sh- Megatron of some kind. It looks like the the Studio Series one. Paint it up. I don't see it. They're doing a a Shattered Glass Drift 2. Yeah, why not? Get that money. (laughs) Get that money! I'm not going to buy that, though, although I love the guns. But I'm not going to buy it. Hmm. Drift pool. So, does anybody else have anything to say about this stuff? No. I love what they're doing. I really do. Of course, it coincides with the fucking uh, dawn of your doll life. Yeah, but that drift <laughs> is what started it, man. I was like, well, here's, something that, here's something that doesn't transform and poses like a motherfucker and looks amazing. It's that drift's fault. Mm-hmm. Dude, what Before that, the idea of buying something that doesn't transform was, like, appalling. This is I what I'm talking about here. Yeah, dude, fucking... I don't know what the fuck picture that's from. Where did you find yeah, it's this? In, it's in that link, dude. Oh, okay. Like That's when I click on it right away, it just shows me like a half-assed Facebook post, and it shows photos, and then like a plus four in the corner. It transforms in a disappointment. Yeah. All right. Moving on. IDW's <laughs> going go bots. Yay! I guess you lose what? the fucking Transformers thing, and you go go bots. I don't think they've lost the Transformers. I think that we found out that they're actually just rebooting it anyways. I know, I'm kidding. Okay. Because fucking Hasbro owns GoBots anyway. Well, they own Tonka, and Tonka was uh, who boss. licensed GoBots. Whatever. So they own that shit. Mm. Uh, the story here is, thanks to Newsarama, we have news that IDW and Tom Scioli are bringing the GoBots back with an IDW series written and drawn by Scioli himself. Scioli is best known in the Transformers fandom for his work on the Transformers vs. Viaggio a few years back, and says this is a 5 issue series, is a labor of love, excited to breathe some life back into this 80s classic. The series launches in October, so stay tuned for more info over the next couple of months. So if you want to see some really hardcore... LGBT leader one fucking fiction. It's coming your way. <laughs> nice. I always wanted that. Oh man, you know what they're gonna do to poor Scooter. <laughs> no, he's nailing. <laughs> you know he was nailing. Tyler, fuck my sauce. Gross. Dude, GoBots is fucking stupid. Oh, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, come on. GoBots was cool. The cartoon I love was now, trash, man. but you I love can't. The you got to choose Transformers or GoBots, man. I'm drawing a thin line in the fucking sand here. You can't even <laughs> pick what kind of drug you want to settle on. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, hey, right? man, I will pretty much do anything as long as I don't have to jam it into my veins. 
I wish I could jam vodka in my veins. What if you have to jam it in between your toes? Smoking shit is my favorite form of doing, favorite way of ingesting drugs. Mm. Freebasing, smoking, whatever you want to call it. Cocaining. Mm -hmm. You can smoke coke. Straight up. Anyway. (laughs) It's fun. So, yeah, we're getting a five issue series of Goo Butts. Yeah, it's only five. That sucks. I might read that. So is that just enough to basically introduce them, set it up, and then make them disappear and wonder where they went? Yep. Or maybe there'll be some fucking crossover with the fucking Transformers universe. This well, at least that one would test actually... The waters. At least that one would actually make fucking sense. I mean, they have crossed over in little tiny ways, like fucking Psykill showed up as a fucking gladiator. You know, yeah, they've killed Psykill so many yeah. times in Transformers fiction. I don't know if any of the other. Robots are stupid, up. but Psykill is pretty cool. I just he like just that. Sounds awesome. I just like that it's a whole roster of characters that can just easily be adapted and expand the Transformers universe. Like you have a whole stable of characters right there that you can just make your shelves bigger if you want to. Mm, but you know what it is? It's like the fucking Fat Girl that you fucked a couple times before, and you know that any time you fucking call her up, she's down. But <laughs> you. It's just not feeling it. It's a last resort. Yeah. Gay. So anyway, let's move on to the custom spotlight. This week, uh, we're combining some genres here. We have a transforming Lego sewing machine, also (laughs) known as Stitch Master. (laughs) This thing's pretty fucking baller, dude. It actually fucking is. Um, My wife loves to sew. I'd love to give that to her, man. This is uh, by Alan Yuppie's Brick Adventures. Let's your wife sew? Get it to sew this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know, the guy built it out of Lego. I can't tell you much about it other than it kind of looks a bit... It kind of looks like Kickback to me for some reason. It has like an Insecticon-ish <laughs> Well, it looks like it. a fucking sewing machine, dude. I'm talking mm-hmm. in robot mode, shithead. <laughs> I know, but it does. Yeah, I mean... He did a fucking really good job of it. Hey, man, did you, you guys see what I just put in the chat? I think it's hey, worth I'm discussing. I'm drunken on drugs, so this thing looks funny to me. That's not fair. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, what the fuck? Can you see it or not? It says attachment that made, unavailable. Made out of bugs? <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Attachment unavailable. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm really try- like the it's because you guys aren't in the group. group. Hang on, man. I'll add the photo. Just mm-hmm. keep talking about what we're talking about. All right. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? Cool. Where is that coming from? Bugs' place? Yeah. Is that your dad or something? Yes, it was. Okay. Bring him on. Let's put him to the 13 questions. No shit. <laughs> oh, nasty. New. No. I got my wife here. We can throw her on there if you guys want. <laughs> we should. But we should have made new questions. Uh, <laughs> I think the regular 13 are fine. I'm down with it. If she'll do it. I'm I mean, down. we don't have a guest. We might as well do it. Or It's either her or Bugs' dad. He sounds cool in the background going, like a ghost <laughs> or something. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got this cool Stitch Master thing. Uh, looks badass. It looks it's pretty badass. It's fucking cool engineering. I used to try and build Transformers out of Legos when I was a kid. I made a, uh, a oh, Rodimus, it's hard. but it didn't transform. It was just the fucking model of the vehicle mode. But this <laughs> this is fucking, you know, pretty From the front? Awesome. From the it's front, It's pretty yeah. intricate shit. Yeah, but... From, from the front, it looks like a seeker. Gotten... Oh, yeah. What was that, Bugs? I said it looks like a seeker from the front. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Looks like a seeker from the front. There. Looks like fucking kickback to me on that fucking one shot. Side where pose, like yeah. Side pose. Um, and looks like Rocky Balboa in this last picture. Hmm. Looks like my painter. <clears throat> uh, but there's a video, so click on the um, the link and it'll show you a video. And now, are these all like legitimate like Lego pieces? Apparently. Or any, um, like, uh, actual custom pieces. So that's like say, Lego, Lego pieces have gotten pretty intricate compared to what we had when we were kids. 
So that means this is like seven hundred dollars to make. Probably. Uh, I don't know if the joints are from like a one of. Oh, I know they have some of these joint pieces you can well, buy. Well, yeah, I, I know that. I, I know, I know they do the the joints in like the Nexo Knights or whatever in the, you know, like the uh, those. Uh, what the fuck were they called? Uh, they were robot sets that you could build. Um, they uh, all had constructs weird, or whatever. No, they they had weird uh, islander names and stuff like that, like Matanui and stuff like that. Uh, Bionicle, Bionicle. Yeah, there Bionicle. We go. There you go. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I'm out of my element with the fucking Lego shit. <sighs> I mean, I, I had grew up with the fucking basic block, so when I see all these new fucking kids, it's like, you goddamn cocksuckers. Kids don't mm. have to have any imagination. You know how hard it was to make fucking something out of just rectangles? <laughs> oh, yeah. At my local fair the other day, I found this uh, little uh, exhibit where they had about six or seven kids' little Lego designs mm. that they build. One guy had, like, a little boat and... Somebody else had something else. But you could tell this other kid, he looked like a master builder from, like, the Lego movie. He mm-hmm. had this crazy, like, giant armored up, like, tank thing built. And I was, right away when I seen it, I was like, well, this kid's obviously the winner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, the other stuff looks like it was built out of some instructions. This thing just looks like somebody just did whatever they wanted. And it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Mm. It was like this beefed up like police armored tank with guns everywhere and like <laughs> had like 12 tires on it it was balling speaking of balling yeah. let's yeah. bounce on yeah. down the KO corner yeah. and this <laughs> bunny has brought y'all some Avengers eggs and Dusty Warpath! And Dusty Warpath! He didn't escape. He's still there. So basically what oh, we dude, have... Oh, dude, it looks like they might have cleaned him off a bit. Uh, this, dude. This was, oh, this is brighter light. This was brought back to my attention he's, by... He's dusty as fuck. What are you talking about? <laughs> by Chris Welty. So I just wanted to give him credit for throwing in here. Just shout dude. out to Welty. He said, uh, he said hi to everybody in one of the chats. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did they give Thor a Hitler mustache? Uh, I don't think it's so much a Hitler mustache as like a oh, fuck that paint. gay Antonio Banderas. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ooh, look at his eyes and the eyes. He's seen some shit, too. Look at his <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, I've seen some things and some <laughs> stuff. Man, you're lying that there's nothing else in this weed. <laughs> I'm lying, put some crap <laughs> Nah, man. If somebody did that, it would just cost more. So what we are looking at here are a set of one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. God. <laughs> uh, Marvel action heroes. We have the Hulk. They um, transform into rocks. And yes, they yeah. transform. <laughs> the rocks. They're crack rock. They're crack, crack lords. Rock lords. They're crack rock lords. <laughs> but the lords of the rock. Hey, yo, Thor's like that face you make when you finally can see sounds. <laughs> Where does the cape go when you transform Thor? You take it off. It's fucking parts for him. Oh, probably. it is parts mm-hmm. for me. What the fuck? Huh. What's, a, what's out of frame in that picture? It looks like Hulk has a shield, but it looks like a fucking door. In a car door? It looks or like a, a piece of a TIE toy... fighter or something. Yeah, it looks like a, like a car door. That looks like a Toy World Aurora door. It's one Maybe of they're using fucking, him. One of the other fucking piece of shit toys, like, just off to the side, like, you are next to make video! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Warpath, you poor thing. Poor bastard. Who's the fucking blue Iron Man? Is that fucking, uh... <laughs> Is that supposed to be War Machine? <laughs> That's Captain Disappoint American. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen War Machine blue. At least all the others God! are kind of like There's bright a cl- colors. There's a close-up of Captain of, um, Thor's face on the website, and yep. you open up fucking links. Yeah. <laughs> you can just zoom God, on that video, fucking stupid. What the fuck? And God, look, look at that. if you want fucking a whole bunch of other pictures, go follow the link. I'm doing it myself. Oh, soon. shit, I'm going to... I'm actually going to do it for one. Do and I open with Chrome or Safari? 
then go down to where it says external reference, and that'll take you to action figure checklist with the fucking whole photo shoot of these fucking things. <laughs> I think it's trash. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, man, man, ten bucks for one of them. If I don't know if you guys saw, man, but it looks like there's a undersized Mech Fans Toys fucking iron hide for seventeen bucks on here. I'm glad, to, I'm glad to, for ten bucks or just. <laughs> I'm glad to see somebody's knocking their fucking garbage off. <laughs> you get with ten bucks for one. I'm gonna have to ask you to relax. Hmm. <laughs> So, and of course, our buddy Dusty Warpath was partying with these guys. Uh, you know, one day this poor God, guy will get face. out of misery. He has a goatee, too. <laughs> I wonder if that's that new digital point paint they're using on all the Marvel Legends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, and he's got some fucking zip problems, too. Pockmarks. Actually, you know what? This is Edward James almost. No, dude. <laughs> that's fucking meth Thor. <laughs> he's got an itchy face. So that was fucking KO Corner for the week. <laughs> so let's hop into the bargain bin with bed bugs. I mean, those things are fucking terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, this isn't much better, but uh, <laughs> so on BBTS they got Toy World Spear. Their their swoop uh, for thirty four percent off. Uh, That's not so, a good deal. Nobody wants that. So for seventy six bucks, well, the original retail price was one hundred and fifteen. So I just say chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not the best swoop, but it's probably uh, still better than probably the uh, com- you know the power of the primes one, just because it's the larger size. Dude, it's I thought I, I thought it was the power of primes one when I saw it in the little picture. <laughs> That's about seventeen dollars worth of fucking swoop right there. Hmm. <laughs> Remember that fucking other piece of shit that was out there for a while? That Bulls Fire? That pathetic Bulls Fire? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that, that damn figure was the fucking opener and closer of that fucking company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, like, here's our. our uh, Cock. Here's our bird. Like it? No? Okay. Alright. Let's go back to our fucking regular jobs. Mm. Let's go back to making gun, gun sets for uh, combiners. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm not buying one. Yeah, I still only have one of the Toy World Dinobots. I have the, their Snarl, and uh, if they keep lowering the prices, I might actually get the other four uh, just to be my Chug Dinobots. But mm. now nah, you don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> just, just go buy it. Just go buy the fucking the ones in the store. Well, if if we had larger KOs of the actual Hasbro releases, I'd consider those over these. No, I mean, I haven't had any experience with the Toy World other than the, um, the ones... I think it was Sludge? Well, the, snar- the Snarl I got is awesome. That, that's the Stegosaurus? <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm, fix- I, I'm getting the companies mixed up. That, Wiener! I had Columbia. Is that a different line? Okay. That, that's Fan's Project. Okay. All right. Oh. But, I mean, really, JL, is it the quality of these so fucking bad that you would say, go get the fucking Hasbro ones in a store of them? It's not, it's not that it's so bad. It's just that shit's still like 75 bucks. You can buy a lot of good shit for 75 bucks. That's true. Johnson. I mean, you can... How much are the Toy World ones going for nowadays? Those motherfuckers combine when you're done. Prick. What well, are you just, talking about? I was just saying, I haven't... Uh, I've seen the combined mode of the Toy World. Well, that's fine. Uh, but, uh, I, I... I mean... I... I the the smart... The, the snarl I got, uh, I, I like, so... And I didn't uh, mean the Toy World one. I meant the other one, the G Creations one. How much are those oh, going for nowadays? I don't know, but they're, they're even larger, aren't they? They're, they're closer to MP, aren't they? No, I don't think so. They're about the size. And didn't Zeta release, re-release this fucking whole set? 
Not yet. That's the other thing, too, that they're going to have that whole set for like 200 bucks or something like that. Mm hmm. Might as well wait and get their knockoff of fucking Toy World. And <laughs> are these the best available chug, Scott, chug scale representations? Well, most people would go with the fans project or the uh, G creations, the, or the freaking ones from uh, the Fall of oh. Cybertron designs. Uh, who did those? Which ones? The Fall Planet Cybertron X. ones. There you go. Planet X. Yeah, that's an expensive Yay. collection too. Well, I'm I guess right. Which one is the G oneest? Toy uh, World or G Creation? Yeah. Because Fans Project did their own take on the Dinobots, but... Mm. Anyway. All right, then. Well, that was a fantastic uh, bargain bin choice. <laughs> Let's move yeah. on to Asshole of the Week. And somebody put Catfish in here, so let's talk about it. Who did it? It's Let's always Catfish. It. <laughs> it's always Catfish. I thought yeah. it was Let's gout. talk about him blatantly right to his face like a fucking man. Well, it's, it's Gout. <laughs> Because I can't, I can't even eat catfish anymore. Publicly produce it so that everyone knows how we feel about him. Yeah. <laughs> like a man. <clears throat> I like to point out that the I feel the guy's pretty cool. I like him. He's a good guy. He's fine. <laughs> My painter. My painter is fine. But yeah, gout sucks and fuck the little uric acid crystals. Then go to hell. <laughs> what does that have to do with JC? Or catfishing. Or catfish. I blame, I blame him for the gout. Now, is it catfish, or are we talking about him, or catfish, actually? I think catfish is one of the seafoods I can still eat, but I'm not going to, because it's fucking bottom-feeding fish. Seafood? Them motherfuckers come out of a lake, bro. It's still seafood. <laughs> and rivers. So, yeah. I think you're too high. <laughs> I am. I am, actually. Yeah, you're starting to get... Started kind of getting coherent. Nice. It happens. All right. So who's with the thirteen so, tonight? Are we, are we gonna get a Kara? Kara. Yeah, I mean, we can we can get her in here. Fuck Glad. yeah, dude. Go grab her. All right. Yeah, you grab her fucking titty. We don't need her titty. We need her fucking mouth and her brain. I'm gonna put them on. <laughs> I'm gonna try and put them on Barry White voice. Fucking swallow. What the fuck is she? <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's doing laundry or something. Good. Where are you? Fuck are you on the side like, of the Leave house? me alone. God. Oh, um, you want to come in here and be interviewed? <laughs> Silence is deafening. She's coming in. <laughs> nice. <coughs> hey, I'm kind of hungry, but I run out of things I want to eat. Yeah, I'm going to eat, eat. I'm going to um, find something to eat while you guys uh, harass your wife. Yeah, 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 wait, yeah you don't, that way you don't want to hear her talk shit about you. I'll figure it out when I listen next week. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be so high, you'll forget then, too, man. All right, here, I'm going to go ahead and pass the uh, earbuds over to her. What's this for? Yay. What's this for? Oh, God. It's for his pearl officer. These are terrible questions. I've heard them. Yay. (laughs) What's up, jerks? Hello. Hey, what's up? Oh. What's up, most patient girl in the entire world? I know, right? I should get an (laughs) award. You should should get some federal. You should get some federal money, that's for sure. <laughs> some state money. Well, from what I hear, oh. he's fucking making out better in the deal now you got that new gig. Well, no, I don't have the gig yet. He's telling everybody I have the gig, but <laughs> you got to go through the paperwork and everything. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's already got a list of shit he wants me to buy him. No. <laughs> can I can I send you the list too? Yeah. <laughs> don't buy anybody pitching. Don't buy him any more purple and black fucking sneakers for Christ's sake, or oh, any gold. That that fucker has more fucking jewelry and shoes than I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh huh. True story. All right. True we story. All right. Don't want to take up too much of your time since we know this is a burden. Ah, uh, number one. <laughs> what is your preferred name or handle? You guys, these questions are awful. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to think up some better ones. No, these are designed um, mi- to elicit a certain response. This is okay. Been- well, the Mrs. Da. Mrs. What DA. do you think about that? Yeah. All right, we'll go. And I want you guys to know my real name. <laughs> that works. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what year were you born? Seventy-nine. All right. Still in the good decade. 
Yep. What is your favorite sandwich? Ooh. Favorite sandwich. I'm kind of on this low-carb thing, so I don't eat bread anymore. But if I were to have a sandwich, it would be a fucking grilled cheese sandwich. But instead of, like, the cheap, like, plastic-covered cheese, Ew. use fucking shredded cheese. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. You guys should try it. I'm going to have to eat after this fucking show now. <laughs> I know, I'm getting hungry, and I, I'm not allowed to fucking eat anything anymore. Oh, yeah. why not? I got gout. You can't eat anything with gout? You got gout! Uh, there's a lot of things you can't eat, but... Oh, like meat and shit? Like red meat, I think you're supposed to avoid, like, a lot of salt, and you're supposed to avoid white bread. <laughs> Ooh. Really? You're going to have to delete you from the chat so you can avoid the salt. And the white <laughs> bread. <laughs> I know JC about gave me fucking gout. <laughs> hey, hey, Bugs, you're writing this shit down, right? Um, I'm just listening, and I'll obviously... Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right, back to the questions. What is your All right. favorite music? Ooh, I love me some gangster rap. Really? Nice. Uh huh. Love me some gangster rap, like old school shit. But I Partic pretty much listen to anything. Particular favorite artist? Um. Body count. That, like what? You got fucking people just yelling in the background. Um, I love Maroon Five. Do you guys know who they are? Oh yes. God, no. <laughs> um, rude. <laughs> I would cheat on my husband with Adam Levine. Really? With that high-pitched voice, faggot? Yes! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> my husband tries to sing like him sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When he wants his pee-pee sucked. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Does mm -hmm. it work? <laughs> oh, absolutely it's like instant fucking you're wet and my panties are coming off and i'm doing shit i never knew i would do nice <laughs> i gotta try that that sounds awesome <laughs> oh. so, uh, do you collect anything fuck no i hate clutter and shit it's i got enough with him i, I can't even collect anything because of him if you didn't Our have to deal with that, would you... So you're not a collecting personality? Fuck no. Okay. I don't save anything. Nothing. All right. Maybe Target receipts. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Every girl loves Target, right? Fuck yeah. Especially when like they rich have, people Walmart. Especially when they have all fucking Starbucks in them and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see how we're going to adapt this next question to you. Okay, I got it. Um, what scale of penis do you collect? What scale? <laughs> Big black ones. Nice. That mm -hmm. is the, the blacker answer. the better. Yeah. Uh, we'll skip number seven. What's number seven? Don't skip any questions. It does. Uh, do you have a focus yeah. collection or any non trans Oh, okay. Collection? I thought you were like, okay, yes, yeah. that one. Fuck that one. No, nah, just not. I'll, I'll ask it's the more about toys. Questions. It's okay. just toy shit that doesn't matter. Um, now, to, to KO or not to KO? Meaning, if somebody's out there knocking shit off, is it okay to buy it? No, absolutely not. Okay. Do you want to know why? Yes, I do. Okay, well, this is a great story. My mother, um, you guys probably know nothing about designer purses, but a lot of times people will make knockoffs of these purses. Yeah. And one time I came home with one once, and my mom's like, do you know how awful that is? That's so disrespectful to the designer. She's like, how how would you feel if you were busting your ass making all these nice purses and some fucking asshole is like fucking making your shit, but not real shit, you know? Ouch, <laughs> God. We got this fucking dog that bites all the time, too. <clears throat> so, no, no knocking off. I know my husband likes to get his dolls in knockoff form. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I think he does, anyway. <clears throat> So, yeah, don't do it. Nice. All right, next question. What movie makes you cry? Fucking Castaway. Wilson! Wilson! Mm -hmm. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? No. Dude, he's got Who? gout. you got to watch it. Which person <laughs> has never seen it? I don't know you guys yet. I mean, Justin. I know you. Justin. Justin's other never Justin. seen fucking Castaway, honey. No. God, I'm yeah. going to mail you a copy of it, because I have a copy. Don't mail us FedEx. 
It's on probably VHS. on Netflix. It's so <laughs> good. Love that movie. But yeah, it's a tearjerker. I don't have a VHS player anymore. I sold it to some kids as an artifact. Oh. Hey, hey, Justin, the next time you order something and it's stuck in limbo and you're waiting and waiting and it's not being delivered, watch Castaway. Nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, now I gotta watch it. It's probably yeah, it's on good. Netflix. I have Netflix. All right, next yeah. question. I gotta modify it again. So, do you have anything you're addicted to? Mm, Dustin's peener. <laughs> Come on, it can't be that great. <laughs> oh, it's great. It, I married it. <laughs> I mean, what other normal human being would marry a man who collects dolls and wears a whole bunch of gold? <laughs> he told us that you married him for his brains. <laughs> <laughs> I did marry him for his brains. No. Um, uh, so, like, uh, l- l- let's modify the question a little bit. So, okay. like, you you mentioned you were a fan of Maroon 5. Yes. Uh, so, like, have you gone to any concerts or anything for them? I've or? never seen their concert. Oh, never okay. seen them in concert. But do you know okay. how many times my husband has drugged me to fucking Black Sabbath and Insane Clown Posse and all that bullshit? Okay. <laughs> Wait, he's a juggalo? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, he is totally a juggalo. Oh, oh my God, God, that's funny what? as shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. At CFCOP, we should get him really fucked up and have them tattoo the clown face on <laughs> <laughs> so like like with this question basically we're trying to figure out if there's something that you've ever wanted or uh, you wanted to do and you did something you feel bad about to acquire that item or do that thing yeah basically no. what would you do for a Klondike bar in the shape of that <laughs> um, I, there probably wouldn't be much I wouldn't do in that case like the, the, car, the table's open for that you know but no there isn't any I haven't ever like you know, change the UPC code thing, or mm-hmm. you know, done all that stuff. Right. No, I'm pretty, pretty. I'm pretty vanilla when it comes to life. Mm. All right, cool, cool. I know, surprising, right? Right. All right. Assuming you are a lesbian, uh, tits, ass, legs, face, or other. Mm. Um, you know, I always tell my husband when I see a woman with a good set of tits. I'm like, well, those are nice tits, honey. Mm. So I think tits. <laughs> that sounds like a trap because then he's going to look and then you're going to hit him for looking. No, listen, <laughs> I show him all the time. Good, bad, or indifferent. Like, a lot of times I like to show him, like, the real bad ones. Right. The real fucking gross ones. Like, when we were at uh, Adventureland with the other fucking nerd. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> 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 memorable. <laughs> Yeah, when well, we were there with Jeep faggot. <laughs> yeah, that Jeep's pretty cool. It mm-hmm. better be cool. It costs as much as your house. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> My husband said he's going to have to get a new front piece for the Jeep from all the pussy that's hitting it. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, we were there at a, the amusement park, and these girls walked by, and you know those two were oogling and ogling at all the girls. And I was like, hey, guys, look at those two. And it was two not good looking women it's yeah. gross but no i do show them i do show them good ones too mm-hmm. do they have like local high school 2019 fucking shirts on <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> gonna, both of y'all gonna get rid of your husbands real quick <laughs> oh shit oh, that's a good answer mm-hmm. all right so what is a weird thing about you idiosyncrasy or a phobia this is bad. This is kind of bad. I have a thing with midgets. <laughs> and that's the proper and, name. Midgets. Well, and it's weird because I'm not a very tall gal myself. So I don't know why. Like, if I was, like, 6'2", I could understand it. But, like, literally whenever there was one that, like, gets close to me, my throat kind of starts to swell up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, well, you know, they usually attack in packs. So you got to be careful. <laughs> They're like velociraptors. You'll see one, but there's three ready to charge from the fucking side. So there used to be this one that worked at a bar in town. And to make it even worse, he was an Asian midget. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Come on now. Oh, you, you, do you want me to lie? No, that's funny there. What was his name? Something Wong? 
I don't. We too low. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I, love you. Oh, I like to think that a midget, uh, a midget bartender actually has a heavy pour, though. <laughs> he was like the bouncer or whatever, and some of my friends. No. no. How is he gonna bounce out of the bar? <laughs> yo, he's eye level. With, he's eye level with your dick. You know, punch with a dick. <laughs> that I was afraid of him, so he'd literally come up and like he would be like tit high on me, and just start hugging me, and I'd have to like peace out i'd leave my friends and be like i gotta go home i can't i don't know what it is hmm. i don't know it's weird hmm. mm-hmm. you got a thing with so, like, yeah. munchkins or like Oopalupas and shit no but i watch all those like little people shows on tv though <laughs> you're facing your fear huh? <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. exposure therapy <laughs> this week on fear factor <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, joe rogan he's he would be my tko guy if i could have one you can have one. Mm-hmm. Nice. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's mm-hmm. pretty badass. Yeah, he is pretty badass. Yeah, I think anyway. he's badass. Especially his stand-up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I listen to his podcast too. after I listen to your guys', of course. Mm. But uh, <laughs> a lot of times I can only make it through about 15 minutes of you guys. I understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. It still counts as a hit on YouTube. Yeah. I know. I think my husband... It, it, is most of the hits. He's a constantly listening to it. I'm like, haven't we heard this already? Uh, nice. We have a fan. He's still a fan, uh-huh. even though he's a member now. He is a fan girl. Fan girl. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to know what he did to us at TFCon last year. <laughs> My husband? Yeah. No, oh, I don't know. I don't want to know what happens at your little nerd festivals. Let's just uh, say that the, the secret code word is a round robin. A round <laughs> robin. Yeah, we had a round robin. You should have seen the shit he did at Fond du Lac for DairyCon. Oh, I, I told him he was going to fondle his sack with all his friends. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. All right, Ms. DA, the final question, the most important the final... question. What is your favorite go-to sex position? Mm. Well, I can't say asleep because I heard my husband when he was doing his homework. That was a really <laughs> funny answer, though. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Um, honestly, you know, I like to fucking put a fucking dick in my mouth, so I don't really know if that's a sex position. Oh, what? You better look out, Dustin. Yeah, well, I (laughs) listen. Can I tell you something though? My husband will start fucking crying if it's been like three days since he's had his penis sucked. I'm like, do you know most of my friends only suck their husband's cock on their birthday? (laughs) Thursday, and you haven't had your fucking dick sucked? (laughs) He can go like three days. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Mm -hmm. My favorite thing is though he'll wake up in the morning like on Sunday if we've gone out drinking the night before and he'll be like, "You want to suck it?" I'm like, "Do you?" It's all warm because it's been like you know under the covers all night. Gross. It's, like half stuck to the bed. Yeah. <laughs> but no, Gross. I do love me. I do love me some dick sucking. Good answer. Nice. Good answer. That's, that's probably the best answer right there. You better make a note of that fucking. <laughs> mm-hmm. you, you better be available for next week's show too, because I think you just won. Oh, I won. <laughs> that's the first time we heard that fucking all time. <laughs> Well, I mean, come on, you know. I think generally the girls had the better answers because uh, <laughs> Anna had like likes to be on top and fucking in charge. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do like my big fat ass up in the air and like him from behind. Yeah, nice. Doggy style. But that, I mean, you know. You ever put on a strap on and get him from behind? He would probably like that. Gross. Sweet. Uh-huh. I, he would cry mm-hmm. a little only if it's gold plated, right? Yeah, he would. He would want a gold plated cock. <laughs> Jewel encrusted. <laughs> it's got a bunch of CZs and ice in it and shit. <laughs> hey, hey, didn't, didn't this have a hundred stones on it when it went in? Why does it only have? Gross. <laughs> I got bad news for you. I got good and bad news for you. It's not kidney stones you're passing. <laughs> Those are diamonds. Bad news. Is- is it CZ's fucking cubic zirconia is coming out of your dick hole? And there's 50 of them in there. Oh, goodness. Well, you were just a joy to oh, have. Oh, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> anytime, gentlemen, anytime. Well, we certainly appreciate your assistance. All right. You, you, may, again next. you may put your cuck back on. Oh! oh. <laughs> He's taking a poop. Gross! Yeah. 
Put them on anyway. Go in there, turn the light off, and shut the door. Oh, <laughs> yeah. dear. So, who, who on here is married? I of am. you guys. Okay. Do you ever Me do, too. like... Okay, all right. Well, good. Um, sometimes, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but ladies poop. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. the worst. I'll be on the toilet doing that, and my husband will come in, and he'll shake his penis at me and ask me to suck it. That's awesome. Oh, mm-hmm. the uh, reverse Blumpkin. The reverse yeah. Blumpkin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I'm always like, are you for fucking real right now? And we have a super tiny bathroom, so then the fucking dog will come in and the cat will come in. I'm like, what if we get in here? Oh, wait. Fucking party. Do you do it? No, I listen. I, I thought you were so cool. many fucking God stories about my husband. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. That's gross. We should just I, do a whole show that's nothing about but stories from fucking Dustin's wife. I mean, I had some good stories. Look at he's pacing now. He's getting nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sweating. We just uh, want to hear about his homosexual experiences when he was younger. <laughs> he always told me as long as you called no homo first, it was fine. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's true though, because. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know. But yeah, anytime you guys need some dirt on him, let me know. Oh, we really? need all the dirt. We're gonna have a. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be like. We're gonna have like a Christmas special. So we have the dirt on. <laughs> a Christmas special. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now this episode's feeling like Christmas in July. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Well, I'm gonna give you back my uh, my husband here. You guys have a good night. Thank you. You, you don't want him anymore. Right. You're all, right. all right. Bye. <laughs> Fire and Dustin. Yeah, she's a new member now. <laughs> You're fired, Dustin. <laughs> she's more hardcore than both you and JC. I'm back. <laughs> hey, guess what? Aww. Your wife's more hardcore than you or JC. Dude, she's pretty hardcore, dude. She's, she's going to fuck you up when, when we get off the air, dude. She's going to fuck you up. Her, uh, she's the descendants of uh, the last white people in the south side of Chicago. So mm. She oh. goes pretty hard. She's going to hit you in the head with a toaster. <laughs> Like in the like in the seventies, her parents were like, "All right, it's time to get the fuck out of here because we're having kids and shit." <laughs> the whole town's on fire. Maybe we should leave. Yeah, basically, yeah, basically yeah. <laughs> Her dad's a badass too. Nice. Cool, cool. All right, are we ready to get into our TKO girls? Indeed. Who I'm gonna get this pile of pills. Who is this first one? Um, I think this is mine. This is um, a beautiful set of fucking breasts. You know, um, I mean, I would totally eat that fucking bread right now. So placed, placed between a large, uh, I think this is a, a sesame seed hoagie of some kind. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Some some big ass French sesame seed French bread. Fuck all that crunchy That's water. That's long there. enough to, to span over the chest of a girl. Mm. And uh, there's a little lettuce in there. And if uh, If you're a member of uh, Transformers and what the fuck ever. You can find this video up there. I have not been flagged or removed for it yet. I hey, Dustin, do not see hey, Dustin, what, what about if this is a hot dog bun and it's a midget? <laughs> I hear the train coming. Who, who's got the trains tonight? It's not me. Dude, I live in the fucking hood. <clears throat> it's definitely trains on my end. <laughs> What's a train? Uh, you, you fuckers need to get a whistle ordinance like we got here. Yeah, they actually just started that. It doesn't go in until uh, it starts next month when they stop that. They actually oh, nice. updated all are the they, crossings in town. Why are they whistling right now? Uh, because there's an intersection about um, eight blocks away. But isn't there isn't there a little gate that comes down? No. I got the same thing yeah, behind my like property. Our, there's like no our, gate that comes down at the Bugs intersection? Bugs and I were no. just discussing. They've become, a lot of these places in the Midwest are becoming quiet zones, and they update the actual like crossings. Man, oh, what? they don't blow the horns anymore. Well, they need a it, it, they're going to do it there. next month. It doesn't start till next month. In, in, my, in, in my town, we had all the gates, and they still blew the whistles, and they actually had to invest the money to uh, put, like, concrete dividers uh, in between uh, both lanes to make it so people couldn't go around the gates. Mm-hmm. And you want to know why they, they honk their horn? Doing, that's what they've done here. They honk their horn for the blind drivers. <laughs> 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 they don't get hit. I would not. I would not fucking doubt at all that there was some point where some blind dude took them to fucking court and said <laughs> that they couldn't. They couldn't see the uh, the gates of the <laughs> flasher, so it was discriminatory against the blind. But yeah, would you be lip- surprised if that actually happened? Hmm. Not in this society. No, not, not at anymore. All. No. Not yeah. At all. 
But yeah, what we're looking at here is a giant a liter literal titty sandwich. Yay! So if anybody's interested in this photo and can't find it, go ahead and hit me up. I'll send it to you. She, she's got some uh, salami-sized uh, areolas there. <laughs> oh yeah. I, d I dare you to make. I dare you to make that your fucking uh, Facebook photo like profile. Yeah, I will. Fuck it. Fun fact: yeah. this was the prototype for the Whopper. <laughs> no wonder I love the Whopper so much. There's no bay I want it. As tasty as a sandwich looks, it, it looks it still needs bacon. Mm. Yeah, it does. It's bacon or throw it in the trash. <laughs> yeah, why wasn't there any bacon put on this? It could have even been that like pre cooked like box bacon that sure about mm -hmm. just eating the bacon. Mm. No, I want the bacon. Alright, moving on. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to my get tired here. Ooh. Um this is uh quite Toner and tinier than I usually go for, but just something about this picture. I mean, she's either a uh, it's brunette. super classy. I, I think she's a redhead, just based on the the hue of her hair and her face and all her features and everything. Um, but she's got like the fucking tiniest little cut off t shirt that is just hanging on to her fucking probably larger B size breasts. Uh, on a tiny frame. <clears throat> a very oh, tiny look frame. At the, look at that look fucking at the thigh, thigh gap. <laughs> yeah, for days. Yeah, a very wide thigh gap and just tiny little boy shorts on the tiniest of little pelvises. And wow. You want to crush it. Yeah, just wow. It's doing it for now, me. These, they've got thigh gaps for real, though. That's kind of huge. That could be photoshopped. It oh, could. it totally is a little bit, but still. I uh, I'm not big on that. I'm not big on that. That's not really a thing that I really care about or yeah, enjoy. Me too. I like some big, thick fucking thighs myself. Y'all know. know what I like. Hmm. Maybe she's a ninja, and that's so that ninja stars can't hit her in the thighs. I don't know, but she's a classy picture here, and I want to put my tongue in her. <laughs> I feel like her wrist was even photoshopped. Well, you don't believe she has that many, that much bling on? No, man. It's just the, the where the wrist meets the hand just looks really thin compared to the size of her hand. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm looking <laughs> right at it. There's a little compression on the bottom where, you know, down near the elbow, but that's because of the weight of the bracelet. Yeah, true. Oh man, look at this motherfucker! Move it on. What is this fucking mm -hmm. thing with the chimichurri sauce on it? I think. I feel like I've already done this before, but maybe no, not. No, I think you did something similar. Uh, it's probably one of the quesadillas. But this is a fucking bacon, egg, and cheese chimichanga with what? the the only chimichurra I've ever tried in my life. But that shit is fucking amazing. And you can throw the sour cream in the trash. <laughs> and I, bar I barely used any of the salsa. That shit <clears throat> is good. And what sucks is it's a motherfucker for me to get because the only days that they are open for breakfast is the weekend, mm -hmm. and they don't open till nine o'clock, uh, and I have to open the shop at ten. <laughs> so I literally have to get there as they're open, make sure I'm the first one to order, and then down that fucking shit, and then go to work feeling like shit. You could get <laughs> it to go. Yeah, there's no enjoy. How gross do you think that thing's gonna be just fifteen minutes after they, <laughs> they finish it? Yeah. Get a video of that. It's not like you're gonna be able to enjoy it anymore anyway with your gout. I, I should I should get them to put the chimichurri inside of it, not cut it and put it in a fucking wrapper. Just eat it like a breakfast burrito. Hell, if they're making it fresh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I am off on Saturday most of the time, but it's a motherfucker to get into town because that's when the tourists are getting up there. Mm -hmm. But this is one of those like tourists. Secret... Yeah, oh god, yeah. Our, our our population on the island quadruples like every fucking weekend. Where do you actually live on an island? No, I live near the island, where it's way oh, cheaper. Okay. But, like, the good thing about this is kind of like a hidden gem, because they open so late that if you get there before they open, you're usually not waiting on a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But now an hour after they open and people start seeing cars in the parking lot, you're fucked. So you can't show up at, like, 10 or 11 o'clock. Right, it's one of those quickly. places that, like, the breakfast only, like, kind of locals will know, only know about type shit. Yeah, but that's until they see the cars are out there, and then people realize they're yeah, open. Yeah, it's only on by. one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I might go there this weekend, but I'm definitely gonna be working after this week. Yeah, and then the tourists are like, 
oh my god, there's cars in a park. That must be good. Let's go there, Tom. Yeah, oh my god, dude. Getting breakfast on a Saturday is a nightmare down here. Except or except for like if you find a place like this that opens late and you're the only one that knows it. You guys want to know how you find out if a place where the food is fire or not where I live? Can you walk into it and the and like the chairs have like holes in them and like the place is kind of fucking dumpy. You know the fucking food is going to be fucking fire because it's the only reason they're still open. Mm-hmm. And like this place, the only thing that you guys do that I don't care for is they have really awesome grits, but they put cheese in it by default, and that ruins it for me. You have to ask for no cheese. Oh, I'm not a big shit. Cheese, grit guy. I don't think I've ever even had grits. Grits are nasty. Yeah, grits are fucking. Just these grits fucking are delicious. Stupid. No, it's good. You're full of shit. Grits are fucking delicious. Mm. Get them with some butter and shit and some salt. Mm. My wife puts fucking sugar in it. It makes me angry. What the fuck is grits anyways? It's like sand? it's like a fucking Flavored hominy corn. It's like corn oatmeal. Something like that. It's like hominy or something. It's fucking sand. It's not sand. I wish it was sand. We got plenty of that fucking shit. Mm. Uh, God, I'm hungry. All right, moving on to the final picture of the evening. No, I want to look at this some more. You can look at whatever the fuck you want. We're talking about some stuffed peppers. This looks good, too. Yeah, I like these look good. Uh, Dogs? Are these yours? What was that? And he's, he's gone. These stuffed peppers, they yours? Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Holy uh, these fuck. Are, these Welcome are back. mine. Yeah, I, I got distracted. Where'd you go? Uh, cat threw up. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> gross. Anyway, uh, so uh, for those that don't know, I am kind of spoiled. Uh, my full-time job during the week, my bosses uh, have their office in their basement, and they often make me lunch. <laughs> and oh. So it's one of the perks of the job. And uh, two times this week, I had these bomb ass stuffed peppers, and they were so good. And I had them today, and I had to share. <laughs> okay. I love stuffed peppers. But this is stock photography, though. That's, this yeah. is not the actual. Yeah, okay. yeah I, did, I didn't take any pictures, but they look pretty much the same. Do they have yeah, so. the, the, the half blend of beef sausage? Um, it didn't have sausage, it just had beef. Um, okay. But, yeah, my, but my wife makes people do the, like this. the beef sausage, like half mm. and half. But, uh, it's like, they were so good for lunch, and I, I, I wish I had more right now, because they look good again. <laughs> yum, yum, It's basically fucking some. meatloaf and a fucking pepper. Yep. It is a meatloaf and a pepper with fucking tomato sauce and cheese and, and rice. Yeah, I was going to say, generally, you put rice in the, the meat mixture. Mm-hmm. God, it looks good. You all mm-hmm. like meatloaf, by the way? I love meatloaf. I love me some meatloaf, yeah. I would rather eat meatloaf than fucking steak. Man, I think meatloaf is fucked. You're not eating it right, then, or not getting it right. Nah, man, I just... Uh, it's just kind of fucking weird. Bunch of hamburger and crackers and shit mixed up and then cooked into a fucking cake. First of all, you're... And then you frost it, it with some type of, like, ketchup-type m- topping. It's like a fucking meat cake. It is a meat cake. That's what that sounds <laughs> it's like. in the title. Meat loaf. It's for Christ's sake. It's fucking, it's just, it's fucking it's meat just and cake. It's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> it's just delicious. Oh my god, it's fine. Fucking meat loaf, bro. No, meatballs are awesome. Well, meatball is just a fucking meatloaf shaped like a ball. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Damn, it's just like this thing comes in a loaf. Like, man, I don't want to smoke whatever the fuck you're smoking, dude. <laughs> like, God, man, <sighs> hamburgers are trash, but Salisbury steak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the dude, Salisbury steak is the shit. You put that Salisbury steak gravy is on another it? type. Salisbury steak is beef gravy fucking meatloaf. Yep. <laughs> beef gravy <laughs> hamburgers. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just had many, too many experience, bad experiences with when I was a kid. I think your maybe I should try like a current meatloaf. meatloaf. All right, hey, uh, someone makes. Hey, da, do you have a story for us, or do you want to? Uh, we can, can you just touch move by on. A meatloaf as a child. All right, we can just move we'll on. Just move on to the discussion, listener questions. Then 
<laughs> Yay! <laughs> These are left over from last week that we couldn't get to because of all yeah. the goddamn TFCon fucking news. But anyway, John Hanson asked us three other questions. <clears throat> the first of which was, which G.I. Joe is the best Joe? Hmm. The fucking Snake sales. Eyes. The fucking sailor with the parrot. <laughs> yeah, was shipwreck. shipwreck. His name. <laughs> yeah, shipwreck. shipwreck yeah. <laughs> he even he even had like, look, he's a he's GI Joe's like naval fucking supervisor. What's his name? Shipwreck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like naming the fucking like the chief like car guy fucking car crash. <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is our best pilot in the entire Joe's. His name is fucking airplane crash. <laughs> <laughs> nose dive. But uh, snake have his nose dive. Yeah. <laughs> Cobra Commander's pretty badass. And he's not, he's a, not Joe. a Joe though. He's a fucking. Oh, Cobra. we're actually just talking GI Joe. Yeah. Not yeah. GI Sh- Joe character. Shipwreck is my favorite. He had a parrot, and he probably killed it and ate it at some point. I really hardly ever watch fucking GI Joe. I didn't collect. Them. Yeah. You know, I wasn't into that whole fucking thing, but I always thought character who was kind of gay was that fucking spirit fucking Indian with his stupid yeah. fucking evil. <laughs> I thought that was kind of racist that they made that guy like that. Fucking Indian. You're, you're supposed to pick your best one, not the worst one. Indian. Well, besides Shipwreck, it's the only fucking one I know. That's Scarlet. <laughs> They're all Red stereotypes. Every single go. one of them. I like to are. think the ship. I like to think the shipwreck and spirit or whatever had a, a music group. Oh wait a minute! I do know we had Sergeant Slaughter and the fridge were fucking in there for a little bit. The yeah, Sergeant mm-hmm. Slaughter was awesome. I think my favorite was probably Flint. He's like the Optimus Prime of fucking. Well, that was Duke. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Who but was yeah. the uh, the snowbound guy? Snowjob. <laughs> That's that awesome name. Name. I hope it snows at TFCon so I can get a snow job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, has anybody not answered this yet? Bad well, vote. me, but I'm I'm not familiar with GI Joe enough to pick an actual favorite character. All right, moving on. If Hulk and Grimlock teamed up, what would happen? They'd fuck shit up. I think mm. that they would do a rousing performance of putting on the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would probably end up fighting. Yeah, because they're both so fucking stupid. Well, they're both very angry, too. Yeah. Now, who do you think would win? I actually think the Hulk could probably defeat most Transformers. Oh, yeah. Like, I hate to say that, but, like, I think that the, the Hulk, he's he's pretty big. He's not as big as a... A transformer would be like going along like the well, old I mean, He's also indestruct- indestructible and robots he's all, aren't. He's so. almost indestructible. I, I think Grimlock could inadvertently make Hulk laugh and then turn into Banner. Mm, I don't know. <clears throat> just because of how cute he is. But just how stupid he is. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I wish I, I would love to see fucking. Uh, Hulk fight uh, Grimlock in dino mode, though. That'd be kind of cool. Mm. All right. That was a silly question. <laughs> I think it's a fun <laughs> question. That sounds like a what if comic. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's too bad Marvel doesn't have the Transformer rights anymore. Mm. Well, there's that. There's like um, a YouTube like channel that does that. Like what ifs. And they have a couple of guys that act stuff out. It's, I don't think they've done a Transformers one, obviously. But they like come in and cosplay characters, and you know shoot action scenes. The fuck like, what, is the channel called? What if Da was Mormon? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, that'd be weird. You would have special yeah. underwear. <clears throat> Magical he wouldn't underwear. Be get, he wouldn't be getting his dick sucked every three days. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! I'm lucky if that even happens. <laughs> she says that's how often you expect it, there. Yeah. <laughs> It's not jail, bro. You're out <laughs> you're dealing with real life problems. <laughs> you, ever, right. you ever throw a raven at her? That actually that actually brings up a, a good story for me, and I'm gonna have to throw this one out there. Oh, it's, yeah, we forgot about tales from. The- <laughs> it's it's happened a couple of times, but this one, you just reminded me of something, and 
I thought about it the other day, and this is really fucked, and it's on the theme of getting your dick sucked. Right. In jail? First of all, yeah, dude, I, when I was in the can, one of my roommates, there was uh, four of us all together, so me and three other guys at one time, um, I was briefly in this um, guys program <laughs> when I was in the can to get out quicker. It was like this... They called it the violators program. Mm-hmm. If you violated your probation in any way, form, and been sentenced or whatever, you could get this, do this program to get out quicker. It was like a six-month boot camp thing. You're in the prison, but they run like a boot camp. Mm-hmm. Like, they make you do push-ups and shit. And nice. Fucking yeah. And they literally run it like a platoon. And the people so that run it are like old drill sergeants and shit. They're making all these criminals even more stronger and better fighters. Excellent. Basically. <laughs> in I a think, sense, I think yeah. This- I think that fucking jail should be like old country buffet, and you can't exercise. <laughs> I want all of y'all like getting out of there fat with short life expectancy, <laughs> like me. <laughs> so, anyways, the um, most of this, most of the people in this program were people that were just like sentenced to do it to do it. It was kind of like a last resort to prison thing. Then some people did it while they were in prison to like knock off some time and shit. Well, there was this guy that. Had had came in from the yard and he was doing he'd already been there for five years but he signed up for the program to try and get parole sooner well one of my um roommates in there at the time he was like an open bisexual dude nice and one night i actually had to sit and endure this other guy that had already been down for five years get his fucking dick sucked by this other dude Mm. (laughs) did you watch that no, fuck no. You didn't watch him masturbate in the corner. No, dude, yes, I he never, did. I've never spoke. I've I, never spoke of it until this day. I can imagine you sitting in the corner masturbating. Mm-hmm. I sat there and read a fucking book and pretend it didn't happen and rolled over and faced the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> was the book called How to Keep Part- Was the book called How to Keep a Male Partner? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was reading a lot of George Carlin books then at the time. Nice. That would suck. That's fucking yeah. terrible. Yeah, God. this is the type of shit you see fucking locked up. A dude no, what, another dude's what's, dick. What's fucked up is I'd be afraid I'd watch. <laughs> dude, I didn't want anything to do with it. Depends on how long a, you've been in there. <laughs> I, had an upper, I had an upper bunk at the time, and Ugh. it happened below my bunk, so I didn't have to see it. Mm. But it, it, sounds it like happened you're kind, underneath. It sounds like you're kind of obsessed with oral now, though. It was fucked. So... <laughs> Your, your one roommate was sucking the other roommate's dick. Where was yeah, the fourth and then the, So they were already living together. Yeah, we were already, in, like, and I was only in this, like, cell briefly, and then they eventually changed them all around again. Thank fucking God. Did they eventually marry? No, no, dude. Hmm. Was this, but, like, a was this like a real thing, or was this just, like, a prison fuck? Um, well... Like, were these I mean, guys, like, a thing in jail? Yeah, no. Kind of like, like on no. Oz? No, the, it, I don't know how the subject got brought up, but dude was just like, "Oh, so you'd suck my dick then?" And he and the other dude was like, "Yeah," and and he was basically like, "All right, come on over here." Did he and finish? I was like, oh fuck! Oh, dude, the whole thing happened. Jesus, gross! Dude, it happened. It happened. A dude sucked another dude <laughs> off in my cell. It's like no, gross. man, it's, it's not homo. It's just a dude helping another dude out. <laughs> well, which, you wouldn't want which, him to get prostate cancer, would you? Which brings me to my actual question, which way, which made me think about all, all this. If you could not have pussy, for how long would it take before you would actually decide, all right, I'll get my dick sucked by a dude? Yeah, you don't have to fuck him or anything like that, but you know, you you want to get your nut off and feel something familiar. All like, right, now how long you're... would it have to be before you were like, this guy was already in for five years at the time. I was going to say, are you talking about how long would you have to have already been in the joint, or how long would your sentence have to be? Your se- how long would your sentence have to be, and how long would it be before you were like, fuck it, I'll, if some guy offered to suck my dick, I'd let him. It's a pretty fucking gay question, but I think it's funny. So <laughs> I think it is a pretty good question. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm going to say about half an hour longer than Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome answer. 
I imagine that I probably only have I, I probably only as far as never getting blown again. I have probably got maybe about another five percent resistance over you. <laughs> Look, man, if I got life without parole, I know I'm fucking doing the rest of my life in there. I guess I gotta go fucking gay. Well, you ain't never gonna be able to tell anybody about it, anyways. No, no. Here's, here's the thing. I'm not saying go gay. Just every now and then, fucking turn your head and some guy blows you. So receiving gay or yeah, not I'm gay. not saying like you're not gonna be fucking butts and running around holding pockets and shit. Well, shit. Chris is like in that case about 20 minutes. Yeah. This is like one <laughs> of the not, gay dudes in the place. Chris is getting attractive and wants to blow you. Like, Chris right, is man. getting blown. You want to take Chris a shot getting, in the mouth? Go for it. Chris is getting blown in the drunk tank. He's gonna get arrested at TFCon for some shit. I'm I'd be like, look, this is the closest I'm gonna ever get to prison. You wanna fucking do this thing or what? Yeah, yeah you're, you're gonna, gonna be in there. Gonna be like, do it. You're gonna be like, so my boy Dustin says that I got a chance to <laughs> suck in my dick. <laughs> Dude, I was there for less than a year and and, and literally knew, like, right in my vicinity, a guy's dick got sucked by another dude. How long you been here, bro? About 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, so, what, what you in for? I didn't have insurance on my car when I got pulled over. <laughs> so, yeah. so Dust, Dustin, is there like a mile high club for getting blown in jail? Oh, oh, fuck oh. no, dude. And if there is, I have no interest <laughs> yeah. in it. Well, there, I'm there's... never going to be doing any crimes sinister enough to get me to stay there long enough to make that even an option. <laughs> There's probably like a top bunk fucking award or something. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys ever, anybody ever went to summer camp or anything or any t- did any type of jail time, but you get to learn how to fucking jerk off without moving. Or what? even if they, or even if you don't, you end up, uh, you, you'll feel your bunk shake every now and then. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> or you, you know can try and ma- or you can try and master jerking off without creating lots of vibration. I'm doing? probably I'm probably just gonna be like fucking celebrate as fucking jail. I'm probably not gonna ejaculate the whole time. I'm or there. just jerk off in the shower like everybody else. Or until and somebody cry. catches him. Come here, little yeah, but, get him, get him. Yeah, but yeah, but the shower is like fucking the people there too, isn't there? Yeah, but it just all depends. Like where I was at, there was like partitions between it, kind of like urinals or bathrooms. Nice. But they could see your like legs. I mean, basically just below. Just above your knee and down, and then from your chest up. Hmm. And then, and you're in between, basically like stalls. So yeah. you, you'd see guys leaning against the wall, fucking rubbing one out regularly. Gross. I mean, this shit happens. I mean, everyone's just like accepting of it. Like motherfuckers want to get theirs, you know. That's how it works. I have a feeling like I probably couldn't even get a boner in the fucking joint. Yeah, you don't for a while. Yeah, probably, mm-hmm. I'd probably be more the urge concerned has about to happen, bro. I'd probably be more concerned about getting my food. So, oh, that's actually a really big concern in there. I'd be pivoting. Feeding people. time is great. Well, what I would do is I'll get me a couple like little bitches and like fucking pimp them off to people. Mm. There you go. You might have to get your dick sucked though. Why? <laughs> well, because if you yeah, if you're gonna have bitches or people that are gonna do things for you, you got you either gotta let dudes suck your dick. No, or I don't. be manly enough to make dudes suck your dick, or at least be manly enough to beat the fuck out of somebody. Otherwise, yeah, probably... you're going to be sucking the dick or being the bitch. No. Nah. I'm just going to stay out of jail. How about that? That's mm. a good idea. I learned that pretty quick. So I how long, how long did it like, take? I'm out of here. How long did it take for all that stuff to happen, dude? Like, from the moment it was brought up till the moment it happened? Yeah. Um, like I'm, I'm talking, it was probably a five minute thing. Mm. Like it was talked about and I was like, get the fuck out of here. And dude was like, yep. And then it was just like, are you serious? Yep. And then they were like, okay. Uh, isn't like, there some Whoa. rules about doing that shit while the other people are stuck in there with you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. I wasn't about to ask it either. Well, like, I mean, why didn't you go there and start beating his ass? The actual, the, actually, the dude that was getting his dick sucked wasn't the type of dude that, you know, you'd just be like, dude, you're being a faggot, because he might just knock you the fuck out. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hold on, let me take your dick out of my mouth. What would you say? <laughs> What'd you say no. to this motherfucker? <laughs> hey, let, me off. let me take my dick out of this faggot's mouth. What, Gross. motherfucker, you got a problem with me getting my dick sucked in this bitch? 
What, I bet somebody, I bet like? somebody will fight you for fucking messing up there, getting their dick sucked in jail. Mm. Oh no, it was totally kind of one of those situations. God knows. It was a very, very large man. So if and you were, he was if, getting his dick sucked, were and you, he was you enjoying himself in your bunk for, after already? been there for five years? Were you what? Were you in your bunk already, or were you all just sitting around and then we? No, we were all in our, our room for the night. They locked down at like 10 or 11 at night. Gross. And um, you're in there till like 7 in the morning again when they let everyone out for breakfast and jobs and just yard stuff and whatever. And most of the time, people are usually up till like midnight or later all like hanging out in their cells. People are drinking on coffee, fucking popping pills that they got from dope heads and pill line or, mm. you know, fucking smoking cigarettes or whatever the fuck it is. Well, it, it got brought up because the one dude was basically bisexual on the street, and dude was like, yeah, I'd suck your dick on the street. And then it was like, would you suck my dick now? And dude was like, yep. And Gross. he sucked his dick. And I was like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in here for? Uh, sucking dick outside. <laughs> You sure that what those guys weren't paid to do that, so you would just behave like scared straight? It could be scared I mean, straight. What the fuck. <laughs> oh look, the program John, we have in to go in time. here and we have to fucking suck each other off, and it's gonna totally gross <laughs> this dude off, and it's gonna scare him straight. This is the best <laughs> program. What are you gonna do when JC sucks Eric's dick in your room? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Jeff Con. laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta get out of here. So mm-hmm. wait, let's finish the oh, question. Well, wait, yeah. wait a second. Yeah, what's the question? How long would you have to be in jail before you would even yeah, you didn't answer think it. about letting a guy blow you? Oh, um, because my my answer depends on what Chris says. <laughs> I'd say in the six month to a year range if I'm never getting out. Well, it, okay, so if, if you had a life sentence and you knew you weren't leaving, uh-huh. a year in, if a dude was like, I'll suck your dick and you could just find an easy blow job, you'd be like, all right, cool, let's do this. When in Rome. Hey, you know, now what? Now, you're, you're looking at a lifetime of dick sucking at that point. Well, let's, let's, let's change Depending this around, on how though. how long he's there. What about, what about, now, nah, what about if you have to reciprocate? No, nah, no, nah, that's not. No, 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 no. We this, need to the, add that dude, to it. The, what I witnessed, the, the guy wasn't going to reciprocate, and that was probably never an option ever. Hmm. Like, this guy got his. He'd been there for five years already, and he got his dick sucked by a dude that was going to be sitting in there for like six months. And he was like, fuck it. <laughs> he's, like, I'm, he's, like, I'm getting, he's like, I'm getting extra pudding at lunch. Fuck this. Yeah, <laughs> I, dude, it was terrible. That's so good. I'd have to be doing a 20 to life situation myself, and I'd have to be there for a while and feel someone out. I mean, I bet I could hold my nut forever. (laughs) Forever. I would die of prostate cancer at like 40. (laughs) I would never fucking nut again. You'd jerk off at some point. Dude, everyone's just jerking off at some point. That's kind of a a given and a norm. Everybody jerks off. I can't jerk off in that kind of environment. Why do you think everyone wears rubber shoes, bro? I can't. I can't jerk off in that kind of environment. Wearing Crocs and sandals in the shower and shit. Yeah, you need fucking. Nah. You're stepping on dudes' fucking semen. Very white on and fucking soft sheets. Nah. Lubriderm. What you gotta do is, is I have to act all crazy and shit, get put in solitary, and I could jerk off in there. <laughs> there you go. But and they don't be... give they don't give you anything while you're there, so whoever's there would have to oh, fucking dude. watch. That shit would suck, dude. I was in the hole for like two days until I was the, before I was before I got released. I was in the hole for two days until my release date. Mm-hmm. How they put you and in there? See if you would snap. It fucking suck. Oh, for fucking peddling shit in there. Did you jerk off in there? Fuck yeah, I jerked off. Because you were by yourself, see? Yeah. <laughs> Did you make the guard watch? No, but if they want to do fuck, actually, you can get in trouble for jerking off in jail. What? Fuck yeah, they call it like. Self mutilation or something like that. Self mutilation. Yeah. God damn, you beat it that hard. No, they will actually charge you for like indecent exposure and shit like that because the because the because the guard peeked on you, you get in trouble. Yeah. Well, don't you tell them that you, <laughs> that you really don't you want to jerk off in jail, but you don't have a choice. Yeah. Crack him a dick, boss. <laughs> All right, so who should? Let, let's do this last question. Dick, let's let's do this last question together. Hey, wait, Eric. Eric, did you ever answer the question? Uh, no, I did not. How long? How long would you have to be in the joint? 
It'd probably have to be a life sentence, and... No. Uh, if it was a life sentence, probably not long. Yeah, yeah. you might as well get it right out. Bugs, you're a big guy. You can get your dick sucked <laughs> pretty easily. You just, be like, you just walk in and, like, I'm doing life. Who's sucking my dick? <laughs> God damn it. Like, <laughs> Bed Bugs gets in there. He's like, man, this is way fucking easier than outside the joint. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to suck my dick or I'm going to bear paw your ass. Especially when they see him walk over to the weight set for the first day when he walks in. They're going to be like, oh, my God, this is going to turn out good. <laughs> What'd you do, bro? I took down a robot convention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yelled Peter at a bunch of children. <laughs> You know, that probably is the charge, really. We want, we want to be careful in the future. Yeah, you have small fingers to kids and shit. That's you know, that probably is illegal. That really probably is illegal. <laughs> he didn't tell it to any, like, like obvious Particular childs. I didn't <laughs> whoosh any, they, were, they were present. I didn't yeah. whoosh any kids, but yeah. there may have been kids present, yeah. <laughs> they may have been accidentally whooshed. You have a small peener. <laughs> You know, the Even in some of the, the, those videos, some of those dudes just looked fucking like they'd never talked to another human being in their life, and someone just said the weirdest shit to them ever. Yeah. And some of them were busting guts, so it yeah. were Fucking nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, so let's answer this last question. Yeah, and then I really gotta get out of here. Alright, who should have been prime, Magnus or Hot Rod? Magnus. Of course. I kind of agree that Magnus should have been prime. Of course fucking Magnus should have been. Like, yeah. Strategically and fucking military, militaristically speaking. Plus he's a big ass dude. That too. Yeah. And a lot, yeah. a lot of bots can fit in him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Magnus in a landslide. Fuck how long yeah. do you think? How long do you think Magnus would have to be in the joint before he get a dick sucked? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I even talked about that, dude. I think that's awesome. I think that's hilarious. I, I can't wait for the story about when you participate. <laughs> that, that never happened, dude. Is I that going to be the Halloween special? Than, like I said, I was in a program to get you out quicker, dude. I got in, <laughs> and I got the fuck out, dude. I learned oh. the ropes, and I haven't been back. That was over ten years ago. The, the I'm new, done with that. The new Halloween special. It's the <laughs> great butt fuck, Charlie Brown. <laughs> the great butt fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Chris is just there trying to get in the program to get you off quicker. <laughs> oh, and then shortly after, I ended up hearing stories about how this guy had already been with other dudes in the fucking mm. unit too, which was kind of fucked up yeah. too. But. Gross. He's not even. He's not even a good husband. That's what. No. It, apparently, he got kind of moved around a little bit, and it's funny because, like I said, the guy was only there for like six months. He was actually he just came there just to do the program. What about, I think he maybe just went there to find all this cock to suck. Yeah, it sounds that like That could it. be. Well, I mean, he would literally openly say he was bisexual to, like, a group full of dudes in prison, which you would normally get your ass beat, where most guys were probably like, fuck you, asshole, and then later was like, hey, man, so you're handing out blowjobs or what? <laughs> they suddenly realized the silver lining. <laughs> How many Raymonds is this going to cost me? <laughs> Anyway, fucking pack of smokes and a bar of soap. <clears throat> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm keeping the fucking toothpaste, that's for sure. Mm. Hey, don't spend your ramen on that shit. Gross. Here's some soap just to make sure you're clean for the next time I meet up with you. Gross. Here's some mouthwash, <laughs> too. I'm not well, a monster. Let's wrap this show up, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, all right, ladies. Let's say good night. Good night, peoples. Have a good Bye. one. I'm glad that everybody listening to this gets to think about people getting their dick sucked in jail. Yeah, right at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I hope y'all are listening right before you go to bed and gives you nightmares about people sucking dick in jail with you. Yeah, don't go to jail. It sucks. Good night. We're out. Since some people are too lazy to read, here are the shout outs. Shout out to TF and WTF Ever, the greatest Transformers and what the fuck ever Facebook group ever. L No Customs, an international consortium of Transformers, customizers, and creators. Third party TF Crashers, Yul Blamo. Hail Hasbro Reviews with Matthew Deluxe Baldwin. 
Shattercast Uncut, Bobby Skullface Reviews, Legions for the Fountain of Material, The Realm of Collectors, Figure Banging, The Entire Cool Table Network, The Blackout and Shout Podcast, and of course, Girls Who Make Bad Decisions with Their Bodies, and the fathers and or uncles that made them that way. And it wouldn't be a show without alcohol, marijuana, and coffee. The lifeblood of this program. If you liked what you heard and want more, like and subscribe. Comment and let us know what you thought. If you're on Facebook and want to join the party and become a fellow drag, we're at TF and WTF ever. All hate mail can be sent to TKO the podcast at gmail.com. We'll be back next week with some more nonsense.